The show is brought to you by patrons such as Benjamin, Dharma Wheelies, Milk Bucks, It's Leon Motherfucker, Parkman, Phone Losers of America, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Anonymous, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about the show at immoralhole.com. You can find our show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can help contribute to the show by visiting immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. This is Pete. Leave a message. Oh. Big fat Pete. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Uh, Pete, give me a call back, okay? I'm not mad or anything. <laughs> Just, just give me a call back so we can we can solve this, okay? He's got his finger inside. Yeah, we gotta solve the finger problem. Like get it out of there. there, God! I keep farting, but it ain't coming out. Yes. Yeah. Uh, How are you? All right, Pete, give me a call back, okay? We gotta solve this now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's always a good sign one. Oh. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Excuse Who the me? fuck is this? Who are you? See this one. This Excuse is the one it goes me, to. But my husband. Yeah. What? Then the husband comes on and starts berating Motherfucker, you. Motherfucker, fuck you. Yeah. I had to clean up his language because it was very dirty when he. Well. Ha ha. We him. I think we uh, called. Oh, really? This, well, Dwight called I this lady. Right now, that was my the case. Husband, you have sat there <laughs> and harassed me, and harassed me, harassed me, on, me on my show. My show. On my show. <laughs> Motherfucker! What the fuck, you punk ass bitch! <laughs> and then he used to say really something horrible here, but now it's cleaned up because the original call uh, was really, really horrible. But um, you fucking loser. <laughs> So yeah, he berates the caller, and most people fight back with him, even though the pauses are really bizarre and strange. Yeah, whatever. I mean, and you have it goes We'll see what you are, you little bitch. <laughs> if you say do. Or more in, how may I help you? Yeah, can we go there and fuck ass? Don't, don't let him do it. Don't let him fuck my ass again, please. I want to fuck ass. He's been, he's been fucking our asses for years and years, and I'm sick of it. Uh, it hurts. Uh, he doesn't even use spit. Gormorin. <laughs> Hello, Hello, sir. Yes. Is that Do you? Uh, yes. Hello. Can, can can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I can uh, hear you. This is John. This is John from corporate, and uh, we just tried to test you, and you failed. So uh, you're gonna have to pack your shit up and get the fuck out. Okay. 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 Get your ass out of here! No, oh, get your ass out! <laughs> Today. Thank you for calling Quality and in Sweets in Gorham, New Hampshire. This is Andrea. How may I help you? Baby. How are you? Hey, baby. Hello? Hey, um, you got any vacancies there? Hello? You got any vacancies? Vacancies for tonight? Yeah. Oh, no, man, yeah. no, no. Ba- bacon seeds. Bacon cheese. Do you have a bacon cheddar rant? I'm having a really oh, hard time well, hearing let, you. I said, let me fuck your ass. Uh, you, you know, the seeds for growing bacon plants. Fuck it. Fuck my ass. Now. Oh. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hi. You have any vacancies? No. Oh. Uh, why? Why not? What happened? What happened? Yep. Oh, yep. okay. And when I got there, the dude was like, 
I I booked a room on Booking. dot com, and you guys say my my reservation didn't go through. When? Yesterday. What date? What is yesterday? Stupid. Hey. You are stupid. You guys you know, are assholes, dude. You so guys stupid. are asshole. You're an asshole. You are. I an had asshole. a room, and you're an asshole for. No, you asshole, and your mother. You're lucky I don't come back there. When you have what date you have a reservation? Yesterday, and I go, and the man say, "Oh, Booking. dot com have no card," and I said, "Well, yeah, I don't have a fucking card on Booking. dot com, idiot. It's pay at property. Pay at property." And then. <laughs> no. Pancho, fucking Good evening, my trust model. Hello. Hey, you did in my room to me. You did in my room to me. What did you say? You Hello? did in my room to me. Hello. May I ask who is calling? You did not. You did not. My brother's room. You did not. You, you did it. Right. Not you. Not you. Did your you. husband or your brother. Or your sister. What are you talking about? Say, oh, no book. Your booking dot com. They say the party and not the party, and they say the card is no because totally reservation full, and I don't like that. You What? say go. Hello, may I ask who is calling? Hello. Yes. My name is Gandu. My name is Gandu. His name is Ben. Ben. Hello. Gandu. Ma'am. Do you have a reservation yeah, no, with us? No, no, no. He doesn't know. No, that's not his name. What are you crazy? Yeah, he's not you. That's this not is White Taurus Motel. I have no reservation from a, you. That's not I don't understand what name. you're talking about. White well, Trash Motel? That's my right. Diesel. This is the motel. Yeah, Mary is speaking. Yeah. Yeah, it says if you arrive at your hotel room and find that it is dirty... Notify the hotel staff immediately. Then that's what we're doing. And when I lay in my bed, it's like sand. Like you went to the beach and you put your ass on the bed and farted all the sand on the bed sheets. Which Sex. which room are you in now? Two fifteen. Sex. Two sex. Teen. Two sex. Too many sexes. And could I have your name? Sexual. Why? Pervert. Name is Kwai. It's my name. Gender. No, you can't have it. Gender neutral. Can I have your name? Kwai. My name are you staying with us my now? Is pervert. Pervert. My name is Pervert. My name is Pervert. My last name is Sexual. Kwai Lo. That's my name. Mr. Hi. Kwai Lo is the name. I don't have that name tonight. No. No. Crow Bar. Crow this is, Bar. This is this is the motel. How about Jack Burton? Do you have Jack Burton? That's that's my name. No. You didn't even check. The name is Jack Burton. I, I'm I'm in And front of the in my I'm in front yeah. of the screen now of the computer of the reservation. Yeah, well, if you don't get me a room, this is White Trash Motel. White Trash Motel. I'm Jack Burton. I think it's a wrong number. I need. I don't understand I what you're saying. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Maybe I can, maybe I can like smooth this out, and maybe I can iron this out. Uh, what? Okay, so you're saying that you're a White Trash Hotel, correct? White Trash, not trash. T R E L L I S. Yeah, you are right. So you are a white trash hotel. Okay, so... Not a trash. How many Trada, bookers... T-R-E-L-L-I-S. Ma'am. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't know please, what you're saying. Don't yell. I speak Wrong number. English. So, oh, oh, ma'am, oh. ma'am, 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 ma'am. Okay. So, uh, how many... Uh, I don't know how to say this in Chinese. Or Mandarin. That is the acceptable Chinese language. Is Mandarin correct? I don't Do you speak, speak Chinese. Mandarin? No. Taiwanese. Oh. Oriental. Do you speak Oriental? Is Lo Pan there? Do you speak English? I want to talk. 
Dude, Dude, I swear to God, she said white trash. Like, hello, Hi. hello. Hi, this is a, a a whole. We're driving around with white trash with us. We'd like to place a room booking for, for a bunch what? of white trash. Uh, do you have any vacancies for tonight for the white trash band? The what? Yeah, it's the name of our, the white our trash band. band. Is called white trash I play the band. keyboards. Oh, okay. I play yeah. we're, we're, the, one band. we're not plugged in right now. I play right the now. spoons. There's some goddamn white trash. You're looking for we a room to, for tonight? We do have a room Yes, please. Okay. Uh, it's a two-night minimum. Yeah, that's fine, oh. honey. What, what are you looking for to book? Uh, let's see, we got eight what? people. Can we get, like, four rooms, or... What do you got? I've got... I we can all fit in two beds. So I can do our room with two queen beds for $200 per night per room. Plus tax. I can oh, fit in the bed with three other people. I don't mind it. You guys can always just come in. I'm having a really hard time on the phone. Um, I do have available... If you guys want to just come in, I can take care of you when I come when you come in. You know, it was the Egyptians that perfected the beer process. So, I mean, if you guys want to come in and book a room, you're more than welcome to. No. Do you have smoking rooms? We do not have smoking rooms, no. Well, if I did smoke, how much would the fee be? $250. <laughs> Okay, so if I smoke twice, can I just pay like a five hundred dollar down? We're, we're, there's, so we're not. Twice? We're not. We're a non-smoking hotel. You cannot smoke in the building. Yeah, but if I'm already paying two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, with, we're in a non-smoking hotel. What's the matter? We're a non-smoking hotel. Oh, okay. Okay. So come, come to my room and tell me. Come to my cousin. I'm so come to our room and tell, tell us I smoked. Say that. I've heard my cousin on a daily basis. So we're a non-smoking hotel. We don't want people smoking in our rooms. They, these rooms are owned by people. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, no, I get that. But if I'm already paying the hundred twenty-five dollars for the smoking fee, it's two hundred. Couldn't that mean that I there is no there is, sir? It's a non-smoking hotel. What if we yeah, don't spread I, baking soda all over the room? Like, that, what I'm if not we gonna spread baking smoking. soda and activated I'm not gonna, carbon this, all over the this room? This is a non-smoking hotel. What if, Matt, we, what if we open the tray? window? My, what if we just Indian, open the window? You can smoke outside Indian of friend, the building. Already, you can smoke outside of the building. No, no, hold on. Ma'am, ma'am, my, my Indian friend already put his lips on the bong, and he's he's already sucking on the bong. So. I smoke after sex, and I'm bringing my cousin. Wait. We're going to do a lot of fucking fucking. Tag team, basically. Yeah. Tony Montana. Hi. Hi, do you have rooms? Or you have vacancies where I can lay my body and my, 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 my family can lay their bodies as well? For tonight or tomorrow night? Uh, for tomorrow night. We are sold out uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Oh, wow. Uh, well, let's see. Well, we can always come next week. So uh, next Friday, when's that? I don't know. That's the 24th, looks like. <laughs> Sorry about that. Whoa. Uh, 24th. Now, let me put my brother on. I have to drive the car, and you scared me. We almost went off the road. Oh, <laughs> Oh, shit, how you doing? Uh, yeah, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, my brother put me on the phone real quick. The 24th, the 24th, I'm sold out as well. You son of a bitch. Um, the 25th, I'm sold out as well. God damn you. Um, you stupid <laughs> motherfucker. Saturday. All right, sir. Yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, you. What if, we, what if we offer you? Um, I think our budget is like four thousand dollars per night. <laughs> and yeah. it, no, no. I mean, the rest of whatever is after the expense of the room that could go into your pocket. 
if you know what I mean. It's kind I'm of sure it does, but I ain't got any room. I'm pretty sure you can work something out. I'm pretty uh, sure. Well, why don't you make you... a vacancy then? <laughs> yeah, exactly. make a vacancy and, dude, I will tip you the amount of money that you make in a year, okay? We'll give you a big tip. Big one. The biggest one you've ever seen. Motherfucker. Yeah, my buddy here, he he makes uh, $200,000 per, like, every two weeks. So you will, I'm, you're I'm guaranteed money, sir. <laughs> sir, sir, yeah. sir. I don't think you understand. You are, you are guaranteed money. And I'm Donald We're going to pay you to keep quiet. We're going to pay you to keep quiet. You don't want to know what we do and make our money. We're just going to uh, come in, use the room for a couple hours, and we're going to leave. All you have to do is keep your mouth shut. That's it. And you're going to get the money. We promise you that. So just go ahead and bump one of those reservations. That way we can book one. And uh, that's it. We uh, know you have a room available. We know what your boss said, not to, not to give that one room away. But that's the room we're looking for. So you're going to be a uh, good little boy and let us get that room. Actually, Anthony, I don't think we were supposed to tell him that we knew. It, it, but it don't matter no more because this kid's just not getting it. He's not getting it in his dick skull. Funny. Yeah, I'd like to play. Yeah, I'd like to get an order here of uh, one hamburger. Kids, what do you want? How drunk? <laughs> oh Lord! One nuggets. I want just, pasta. I want pasta. We don't have. I just want a cheeseburger. I just want one cheeseburger. One cheeseburger. I want. I want pasta. What's with, the guy on the phone want? Where um, you are from McDonald's? Uh, oh, he's all the cheese. Oh, good night. Food. <laughs> Hello again. You want some mayonnaise on your burger? <laughs> what the fuck? Talk to my talk to Miriam. She'll handle this. Hello. <laughs> Who's this? Who am I talking to? Hello? There's someone there. You better speak up. Miriam can't hear that wire. So you better talk right now, buddy. Hello? 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 I don't like that little get. Oh, Graham, throw your pain back at me. Yes, yes, yes. I don't like the way you're making my grandmother come like that. Uh, that is disrespectful. Hello. Hello. Now, Grandma, pull your goddamn pants back on. Hello. I told you, Mary. Handle this. I told you. Fucker. Man. You gotta make no, no, it go. No, 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 no. Hello. Hello. Hi. Do you have any vacancies, honey baby? Honey baby? Yeah. You sound nice. Did you really just call me, though? I really call oh. you honey baby. I, it's just, it's a nice thing I call people that I love. You don't even know me. Well, you sound polite and beautiful. Tonight. I All am, right. but we don't have any room tonight. Okay. Well, then Bye. you have a nice night, all right? I love you, Full honey, baby. Full of what? Full of what? What are you... And you can see it perfectly. Stony Brook. Hey, um, can you see the snow on the mountains? Hello? I don't see them. There's snow on the mountains right there. Do you see the... Do, do you see it? Yeah. Ah! They're making the snow. Yeah, well, my brother's here. Hi. Hello. Yeah. We want you to take turns in the snow. Yeah, we want to go outside in the snow. You want to come with us? We're going to make the snow together. We're going to make snow. <laughs> bye bye. We're going to spray Good it night. on each other. Good we're going to ride on it. Hi.
Do you have any vacancies? Uh, look at Snappy. What? Hello? Um, I was going yeah. southbound on the... Ah, hello. hello? Hello, how many... Yes, this is a hotel. This is the motel? Hello? Yes? Yes. Yes, I just want to make sure that everything is on the up and up. I'm going to be coming through. I left my keys out in the lot. I'm I'm sorry. What is your name? Uh, my name is Mimi. Do you have a reservation, Mimi? Well, I do not, but I was visiting a person who does. Oh, we, okay. And you went to what motel? This one here. It's, I saved it in my phone when, upon my arrival. Let me just check Which was, when, was, when I broke it. What room were you in? I don't remember the room number. Wow. Who's your friend? I I just call I I just call him. Well, it's kind of a crass name. I'm not sure if I can uh, say it over the phone. I I call him Balloon Dick. Yeah. Mimi, I think you need a pin for your Balloon Dick. What? Why? That's the opposite of what I wanted. Maybe you should call 911. Why? Mm. There's, There's lights in the sky. I think they're UFOs. Yeah, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, I am fantastic. Let me tell you. I'm not going to bore you with it. Uh, I had a question. I forget what it was. Hmm. This this is the hotel, correct? Correct, right? The, yes, we're a hotel, motel, lodge. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, then that is the same place I'm calling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my brother is more versed in. Uh, Asking questions. Uh, here, here he is, because I forget. I completely forget what I was going to say. It was, it was going to be something about like time and space and stuff, but... Uh, We're fully booked all weekend. You have that's helpful for you. Talk to, talk to our aunt, Nappy. Hello. Hello? Yes. I was um, I was doing some of my organizing some of my my fabrics and my linens. Is everything that's okay? What, that's what it was. Sorry, Pappy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she gone? Uh, I'm still here. I'm just waiting to understand what you guys need. Yes. Well, we're all together. We're just trying to get like you know everything in a row, but um, there had been there was some there was a bird earlier like a, like a I don't know what you'd call it one of those like a large kind of a like a, one of the scary birds. I think it was some kind of gull. Yeah, and it was pecking, it, went, it was pecking at us. Yeah, but it, yeah, it was pecking, and it wasn't. It wasn't like a seagull. Like it, it was the, it more of like an earth gull. Like a what gull? Are you guys talking about that bird that flew around and took a shit in the car? Yeah. yeah. That fucking bird. I hate that bird. It always flies, take a big ass shit on the window. Well, well, no shit. There That's why we killed it. That's there. It is. <laughs> Hello? That's what I live for. Uh, hello, hello. Hey there. Hi, I'm here with my family in the station wagon. We're driving, and we just need to find out exactly like where you are. So 
I can put it in the GPS so I don't drive off the road. Where where you guys are? You I don't want to wanna have sex with my uncle. Yeah, what what's what is uh, your address? For what? What is address? To make to get there because I'm coming. I'm you have coming. a reservation. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I have a reservation already. I made it on the the interwebs, and I'm just I need to know your GPS coordinates or your your ad. Uh, the, what are the cross streets? That's what I need. We're gonna come. I yeah. Put in the GPS. Yeah, we have no reservation here for anyone tonight. Well, we're on our way. I just need, I just need, you know, your address so I can. Oh, 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 is open. Hello? Hello? Uh, I think it's... Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. We, we Hi you told right me you made a first. left. I made a left and we, we had a little accident, but everything is okay. Now, we need to know well, what's the address there so I can... We don't have rooms tonight, sir. We are closed. Right, no, we have... Well, well, then why why I make... I paid. No, you did not, sir. This is not the motel. This is the wrong, no. wrong motel. Excuse, well, excuse me. Okay, Could you just sir? stop, yeah, you, stop you just... honking at me? Stop honking at me. Please. Please stop. Stop. Okay. This you is the wrong, wrong motel. We don't have... We don't have any... You made any me crash. Huh? We are closed, sir. Sorry. You made me crash. You're going to hear Hello? from my my people. My They're going to make me people. fuck them. You're talking to my brother. He was in the car too. You made us crash. All right, Hello? sir. We, the, uh, okay. We don't have any reservations, sir. I got it. Yeah. All right. All right. I I got to calm you down because it feels like you're very anxious. What? Hello. It's not illegal to elude thing. No. Hello. 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 Hi. Uh, how's it going? Can I help Is you? It going good. Yeah, I need to book a room if you got vacancies. For when? Uh, tonight. Can you quit? Can you please quit tickling me while I'm driving? It's not safe. Something you liked it. These areas allow tickling. It might be illegal to. Washington. Hello? If you're going to play games, I'm hanging up. I'm tired. It's late. I want to go to bed. So. Sir, we're sir, fine. Sir, I'll come sir, sir, what sir, you want or play games with each we, other. We, I'm, I'm not we, here to play sorry. games, okay? Oh, we're sorry. Sir, we're sorry. Sir, sir. Uh, that's it. That's sir, it. We're Goodbye. not playing games. Thank you for calling the Fairfield Hooks. This is Brittany. How can I help you? Hey, Brittany. We were just wondering if we could stay there for just a couple of nights. Pardon? Mm-hmm. We were just wondering if we could stay there for a couple of nights. All right. Um, uh, Brittany. 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 Sorry. Yeah, my brother just like, yeah. We were just wondering if we could stay there for a few nights with my balloon did. I'm sorry. We're on two different cell phones. We're uh, we're conferencing into you. You there? Oh, okay. Um, what? Uh, I I was gonna say I can't understand exactly what you're saying. When did you need to stay? Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. My brother. I think he is. He's on the mountain right now at the moment. And he's he he's coming down. I think he, he'll probably be within cell phone reception very soon. So give him time. Are you still there? Oh, shit! 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 O
Get your finger! Get your finger out of there! That Pull your finger out! Pull your finger out, please! Thank you. Thank you for calling the Fairfield Hooks. This is Brittany. How can I help you? Brittany? Brittany? Uh huh. We're going to be coming through there. There's a group of us. Uh, I just need to, like, write down and make sure that I can, like, put the the address into my, my GPS here on my car. Okay, what's your... What's going on? Why you, why you, why you need backup over this? Can you have, give me your last name for your reservation? Well, we're in the process of making it. We just wanted to, like, you know, arrive. Um, let's see. How many people, how many rooms do you need? Um, I believe two. Or how many are people are allowed per bed? We could share one sexually. And the only pieces I have are flat. Thank you for calling True. This is Amanda. How can I help you? Is this Amanda Hug and Kiss? It just might be. Oh, awesome. Hey, I'm here with my family. We need to make a booking. I'm all on a conference call with them all. Uh, we're thinking about all coming right. in in two days. Do you have any bookings for then for like three days for uh, eight people? Yeah, my name is Tafonda. What? No, hold on, make it ten, though. Make it ten, just grandfather. Don't forget about grandfather back here in the back seat. Oh, shut up, grandpa, before we leave you tied to the roof again. God damn it. Um, is there a number we can give you a call back? Room. Yeah, it should be on your yeah, it's, uh, right the World here. Vision yeah. phone number. I'm not sure which one you we can called. support us for 80 cents a month. I think it's one... Building R&N in downtown Manchester. Hi. We uh, Hi. accidentally let Hello. loose our, our pet in the room. Um, I need to know like how much that's going to cost in damages. I'm sorry. It's it cutting out. What was that? Oh, oh. How bad is it? Is it really bad or is it just marginal? Like how bad is it? What? What are you asking? How bad? How many coconuts is the telephone line? Does it sound like we're like we're talking on a coconut wire? Or uh, I'm not sure what that. It's, so it, it, it seems clear with, now. So in Hawaii, the way that they operate the telephone system is they take the coconuts and then they unravel the fibers and they tie the fibers together. And then they run a little tiny bit of copper through the fibers of the coconut and they make wires out of it. And they string that from pole to pole. And unfortunately, the sound quality is horrible in Hawaii on the telephone. And so they tell us, Howley's, hey, you know, we're going to throw you in the volcano if you don't, you know, do right by us and replace these horrible lines that we made out of coconuts because we're very resourceful. All right, so what my call hermit is trying to say is, uh, he's trying to ask, is it the uh, pen? Is it, oh, God, it, it really is bad. Oh, God. Is it pen, is it pen specific bad or is a pen translancesis bad? Good evening. Thank you for calling the Holiday in Manchester Airport. This is Cheyenne speaking. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? To be, Hi. To be fair, I think the movie was Hi. just a little bit out of, just a little bit out of touch with what the original concept was. What do you think? Hello? Hi. I'm, I'm sorry. Who's calling? Uh, we're calling. You're on the podcast right now, Big Balloon Podcast. I'm not interested, want, so I'm going to hang want, up now. Okay. We want to know All what right, you think of the movie Up. Oh, man. What do you think of the movie oh, Up? 
Thanks. Thanks, good evening. Thank you for calling Spring Hill Seats in Manchester. This is Ernesto speaking. How may I help you? Huh? Yeah, hello. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I left something at your store. Pardon me? I think I left something at your store. This is not a store. Uh, yeah, you had... This is a hotel. A hotel. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I called for a reason. I forgot what the reason was. For the balloon. You gotta, you gotta forgive me. I'm old. All right. The balloon. The balloon. Now that's my son. I'm sorry. All right. So you you there? Yes, sir. Yeah. You uh, good? All right. Good. Okay. So right. uh, I for I forgot to uh, inflate my balloon. Before I went up to my room, when I was about to be bloomed, um, my, I gotta put my son back on the phone. I'm sorry, I I, I forget what, what I'm talking about. His name is Lotsapol. Yeah, me. well, Lotsapol. Yeah, hold on, yeah, that guy. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, how you doing? Hello? Hello? Yeah, my, my, my grandpa, he's delirious. He says he left something in the hotel room. And then, um, what room did he stay in? Oh, um, oh, what, what's the last name on, on, on his, um, his, um, on the hotel room? But, um, 216, his last name is Balloon. Uh, give me one second. Just bear with me, I'm going to put you on a brief hold, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. First of all, what is the balloon anyway? Hello? Hello? Hi, how Hi. are you? Good. I okay. need information about what a balloon is anyway and how to inflate a balloon. I'm I'm not what a balloon is? Yeah, what is a balloon? I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. It is a mylar or a latex filled uh receptacle with helium or air. Oh receptacle. Oh. Oh shit. We know all about receptacles. I'm sure you do. It sounds like a lot of trouble though. Not really. How are you? How do we make it fly? You use helium, and we have several balloons at your disposal, and you can purchase... Oh, no, I don't want to throw them away. No, I don't want to dispose of them. Oh, then you just fill them up, blow them up with your mouth, and just fill them with air. Oh, wow. Oh! Mm -hmm. I like to blow things with my mouth. I'm sure you do. Are, yeah, are there balloons. any other questions? Oh. Can I use the balloons as a prosthesis? Can I use the balloons as a prosthesis buttock? Because I wouldn't. I have a very but you guys have a good night. Ass. Wait, I have a question. You're done. So, I have a question. Oh, hold on, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma 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 oh, yeah, hold on, ma'am. I'm shut sorry. Up, <laughs> Thank you for calling Party City Beaverton. This is Megan. How can I help you? Do you guys make custom balloons? No, we don't. Everything's online. Oh. Oh. Do you have a balloon that's like shaped like a pear? No, we don't. Or everything. Do you have any balloons that I don't have if online, dude? Or else I would have looked. You can always come into the yeah, store and check it out. Ma May, well, may I just I'm need sorry. a balloon to where I could, like, kind of put my lips on it and blow, kind of like the shape of um, a, a peach or, like, um, you two, have a, like a heart, right kind of. No, oh! ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> that was the song. 
Hey, hey, why is hey, the buddy. tag over there? Why is he? I'm not drunk. You're a drunk son of a bitch. My friend is drunk and we need a room. I'm not as drunk. You're ugly. I'm not as drunk. Hey, be nice. Hey, he looks like the back end of a bitch. Johnny, stop it. Can, oh. can we get a room, please? Please, dude? Can you help us out here? Oh, oh my god. Put that down, please. Dude. He's blowing into my he, balloon. He's playing Super Mario. What kind of room do you need? Well, we got all these balloons with us. That's Super Mario. Is that Mario cool with you, dude? Super Mario. We need a room with at least a queen size bed, maybe two beds. Hey, hey, person. Hey, do you have do you have any pets? I uh, um, I have. There's a balloon. I have, a, I have lice, like crab louse. I have a I have a Yoshi because I'm I'm Mario. I have a Yoshi. Is the balloon a pet? I have a Yoshi. Is crab louse a pet? A balloon. Stein. What's the last Our name? Our last name is Balloon. Balloon. First name Dick. Call Tracy. Robert. Tracy. <laughs> That's her name. I was telling you about Tracy the other night, man. <laughs> that girl's fucking nuts. Sorry, not hey. Robert. Richard. Richard Balloon. That's that's our friend Richard Mann. Wow, oh, that's that's Dick Tock. No, 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 hold on, sir. We call him Dick Tock. All you do is blow. You blow, and it and it inflates it. What is the problem with you? What's the phone number? Five 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 balloon. five 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 one eight hundred balloons. Hello. Cordy and Morris, this is Dave. How can I help you? Uh, yes. Yeah, how you yeah, doing? No. No. Claudia Morris, this is Dave. Oh, hello. Let hey. me put my brothers on. I am driving, and I can't be on the phone at the same time. Okay. <laughs> hello? Yes. Hey. Are you guys... Do you, are, are, so basically, my wife, Bappy, she's... Get, we're we're going to surprise her, so we're wondering... She's going to book the room on her own, but she doesn't know, so we're going to put balloons in the room and surprise her when she opens the room. Can we do that somehow with you? Yeah, it should be no problem, yeah, huh? Because she's going to call, and she's going to book a room, but you better not say that we called two, okay? Oh, I won't. You better no, not no. give our cover away. No, I won't. Um, so, it's a balloon party, and in the room, I don't know if you're allowed, but we're going to have, like, all kinds of different shapes of balloons, um, some inappropriate, so how would we do that? Um, I... Somehow sneak them in there is all I can say is, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's a balloon that's shaped like an ass. Um, there's uh, balls balloons, like shaped like a big ass pair of balls. Uh, there's a dick shaped balloon. Maybe um, maybe you can help us inflate them, put your lips on it, and just blow. Uh, I doubt I'll be here when you guys get here because I'm about ready to leave, so, huh? You would help us out, though, right? If you were there, you you put your mouth on the balloon dick and just blow as much as you can. No, it's not my job to do that. No. What about the balloon ass? It's a woman's ass. Would you blow into that? No. Just pucker it, suck it. Thank you for calling reservations. My name is Clayton. I'm gonna help you tonight. Clayton. Uh, Clayton, man. Clayton? How many? Clayton, nice man. to meet you. We're going to be coming through, and um, there's a celebration going on. So what I wanted to do, I want to have the room filled with balloons. Oh, sure, man. Um, may I know when is your check-in dates, man? And for how many nights? 
Right. I'm thinking uh, like March 16th for like that one night. But will you be able to provide the balloons? Oh, for the balloons, party balloons, man. Oh, I will uh, transfer you to the front, this man, regarding for this. Okay. Oh. Oh, good. Perfect. Okay, ma'am. Uh, may I place this call and hold while I'm che- uh, transfer you to the front desk? Oh. All right. Please be quick. Interrupt. Okay, ma'am. Super eight. May I help you? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes. Uh, I'm tr- I'm trying to get into the room, but I can't get I can't get in. What room? Well, it's a room. I well, I need to lay down. I got the dizzy spins. I'm very dizzy. Huh? I'm trying to get into the room to stay for the night for freeze. For what? For free, you know, free, no money. I no pay. <laughs> Hello, stupid. Hello, stupid. I'm trying to get into the room, stupid. Wow. Take it. Take those Take numbers it. and process it. Take it, choo choo, smoke it. it. Everybody, all the ones. Wow. Courtney, how are you? What you? happened, Courtney? I'm sorry, what no, are you trying no, to No, I'm asking what. Yeah, uh, you. Balloon. This is a quality in a fleet. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got off of the wrong quote. What's your name? This is Melissa. Larissa, honey baby. Um, I was asking, uh, how many rooms do you have? Uh, I'm like, I, 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 I want to know, like, the, I need to know the structure of the rooms. I, I'm a scientist. So I, every time that I stay at a room, I need to know like how many floors and how wide each room is and how many. So that I can tell you, there's two you, floors in the like, west wing, three floors in the east wing. The dimensions of the rooms, I have no clue. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I can just guess at the dimensions of the rooms. This is, this is. Predicted. Thank you, Ronnie Mang. Hold it in this bus. Yeah. How can I help you? Hi, hi, Gondu. How are you? Hello? Hello? Hi, is this the Gondu Motel? Who is this? Oh, this is Freddy. I'm calling for the Gondu Motel. Who? Gondu? I might be... Maybe I got this wrong. What? What is this? Where am I? This is the Magnuson Hotel. Oh, is this the one across from the gas station or the one across from the, the fast food store? What do you mean across from the fast food store? Well, the, 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 yeah, the password store, where you buy passwords. The password is... Because I'm on the game show, I need to buy a password. No, we don't, I don't know. What are you okay, talking about? Okay, well, I need a room booking. Why, why don't you know? Here, talk to my brother. Something happened, he, and I, I can't yeah. follow the conversation anymore. I think you have to talk to my brother. Okay, bye. My dick is like a balloon. Hey, there's a problem. What? Yeah. Yes. There's a problem, yeah, there's a problem with the room. What do you mean problem with we, the room? Uh, we were supposed to have the diet marijuana... With the room that was supposed to be on the pillow? A what? I think you're calling the wrong number. Yeah, we... No, we ordered the room with the diet marijuana. You're calling the wrong number. We don't have no marijuana or anything here. And you're calling the wrong hotel. Yes. Which hotel are you calling? Which yes, city you are you do. calling? Look, Karam Jarikute, I ordered the room with the weed. The diet weed. Look, if you're not going to talk to me nicely, I'm going to call the police right now. Bye. Bless us. Let me help you. Yeah, we're coming in there, and we need our space for our balloons. Space for what? We got a bunch of 
goddamn balloons for my wife's birthday. We're going to need an extra room just for the balloons. We're going to inflate them. Oh. Yeah. Is that going to be a problem? So you're going to pay for a room with for balloons? Damn tootin', that's what I'm saying. Uh, we don't do that just for some balloons. What does it matter? What if I didn't tell you and I just got two rooms? Why don't you just forget what I said and I want two rooms, please, for me and my wife. Are you going to pick hey, up the balloons or are you going to make a mess? What do you mean? You don't have to clean it. What are you worried about? Okay, I think you should stay somewhere else. Thank you. You bitch. Uh, you do that now. You bitch. Thank you for calling Comfort and the Suites. I'm John Derek for Place Amanda speaking. Hey, 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 listen, you can't say it like that. Do you want to greet me properly or should I go to another establishment with my fucking dollars? Do what? Say this, the spiel again, but this time with some emotion and some conviction. Because if you don't, I will take my dozens of dollars to another establishment. Oh, I said thank you for calling Comfort Anna and Sweets on John Derek's Expressway. It's Amanda. I want to take my establishment to a different dollar. Hello? That's keeping. Hello? Hi, I have traveler's checks, and I will take them to a competing resort if you do not perform the greeting. Yes. On camera. Do I? Do you accept traveler's checks? I'm from the 1980s. I just woke up. I was in a suspended animation, and I have traveler's checks. No, we don't accept those. Oh, do you accept Hawaiian money? Just Do you accept Hawaiian money? No. Why not? Do you accept balloons? We can make you a little balloon animal, anything you like. We can make you a balloon in the shape of a dog. You want to die soon? Um, Downey the Clown's right here. He can make any balloon you can think of. Anything. Oh, I swear to God, I've asked him to do just... I got dog soon. I got stick fears. What you Downey mean? the Clown. Downey! We're calling because we want to perform our act at the hotel there in the main lobby. Where's that goddamn clown at? Get his ass on the phone. Why Hello, my name is Johnny the Clown. How you doing? Mm. So you yeah, want to perform your act? Like the Three Stooges? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're like the Three yeah, Stooges. Hello? What's going on yeah, here, down. boys? That's Downey. Wee-haw! Hello? Well, I don't Woman, know. Show when some are respect you to Downey. Do What's going on? I need well, to make house, a room book house in. tomorrow, so. What? Tomorrow? I what told time? her that we were, we're we want to perform there. We want a job. What time? Lady, you better show some respect to Downey the Clown. He's greatness. Okay? What kind? How about 9 p.m.? 9 p.m. 9 p.m. tomorrow night? Here I got the organ. Yeah, Let me play with my organ here. Yeah, what show her your that? organ skills. Yeah. Or, is it show her how you Have play you with your organ. organ and you wanna I'll plug it in with your organ. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do a nice little circus. Yeah. And you're gonna perform in the lobby? Huh. Huh. Yeah, we'll just perform yeah. right in the lobby there. It'll be great. Uh, he'll be playing with his little organ in his hands and touching it and playing the organ with balloons. I love the balloons. Oh yeah. No, for real. I like, put them really down wrong. there, and I, I find me a lady for the night. Like, yeah. Really maybe, you, maybe you can call? hang out with us in the room after you're off work, and we can make you a little balloon animal. You got to guess what the shape is. Why do you guys really call? I need because a room. We're, we're looking for a mail order bride. Downey the Clown needs a goddamn room, and if he wants a room, he's going to get it. I know, but why do, do you want a reservation, or? No. Ask Downey. Ask Downey what he wants. What he wants, he gets. You want a job. 
one job with extra heat. And do you have any of that nose candy? Because I'm all out. That must really blow. Jobs are so hard to find. Yeah, we're from Hell. the 80s. We like cocaine. No, no. not that kind of candy. What are you? No. No, I'm talking about that moon nose rock. <laughs> you want this? You want this, Danny? Yeah, give me some of that. No, is, I is, is this what you're looking for? Oh, yeah, yeah you want this? Yeah, yeah, okay, here, do me a little trick. Yeah, you want this? Come on. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Why did I really right. talk? Yeah. Oh, get your finger out of there. Oh. Because, yeah, honey. He's right inside of there. Because we're morally handicapped. Now put your lips on it and blow. Hey, yeah. you to be rude? Well, hold on, i got to get it in my no, mouth No, I have a moral disability. Yeah, yeah. I have, that moral, I have a moral disability where like I can't, I can't yeah, bro, act like right. This. I know, but I'm just saying. Yes. Yes. Hold on. Blow my dick like a homeowner. Blow that. Yes, yes. Oh, Blow my dick. Yeah. That's yes, it. That's yes. the stuff. I love it. I love when you blow me. Oh. Huh? Ah. Ah. Oh. All right. Yes. Oh, is he going to room or just to be rude to me? No, we're not being rude. I don't think we need a room no more. We want to take you out to dinner. I already blew my load. Yeah, After well. After we perform our act. Out to dinner. Yeah. We'll take you to that local fish place. Have you ever heard of it, Red Lobster? Very special yeah. place. It smells oh. just like it. I see you know, like, you like the biscuits fruit. there? The shrimp scampi was pretty good, if I remember correctly. It smells like bappy. You guys are oh, just no. calling to me. No, we're not. It's, no, it's being it's, rude oh to you. God. You're being rude to you, us. you Cheddar Bay biscuit bitch. What? Oh, that's what they are, the Cheddar Biscuits. <laughs> Do you want the shrimps? Do you want the all-you-can-eat shrimp? I don't call you guys and do that to you. Because you don't uh -huh. know our number. I bet you would if you did. Talk to Bappy. Talk to Bappy. I would never do that to you. Why? Well, only because you, you don't have it. our number. It's not a valid comparison. Are yeah, but I think you guys called here just to be rude to me. We're no, not we didn't. Rude. Wow. Bappy doesn't know how to be rude. She had that emotion removed. Then why did you guys call yeah. the hotel? That that emotion's in her vulva, and it's been removed. But you're yeah, calling it's in her Volvo. I was trying to see if you guys want a room, but if you're calling to be rude we to me, we do. We do, we do. No, we, we want 10 rooms. Okay, so what do you want to do? Exactly. Uh, I want to fly like a bird. I'm like a bird. That's that's my fr friend Cat's favorite song. I'm like a bird, I only fly away. Or just a second. Like a... Do you want to go no, right now? where are you going? Yes. Or when do you maybe, want your maybe? Does, is maybe an acceptable answer? Could I maybe? Will you stay on the phone if I say maybe? I hear birds. You have a seagull problem there. I have a what? you have a seagull problem there? It sounds like a seagull infestation. We have no yeah. calling for room or about chickens? Yeah, I'm calling for a room, but without seagulls or chickens. Yeah, don't be a bitch. I'm not. If this is a third shift, hi, my name is Ashley. I'm sorry. I thought you were being funny. Who's Ashley? Yeah. And why? And why? And why does she have a stank mouth? Oh, I'm 
Who's Ashley? Who's Ashley? We don't have to accept your feet. Who, who's Ashley? Who's Ashley? Sir? Ashley. Do you want to make a reservation? Yes, I want to make several that span several years. When you're ready. And time zones. Okay. Thank you. I'd like to make a reservation, yes. Tonight? Are you Excellent. coming to the hotel tonight? Mm, maybe. Okay, sir. I need you to have a definite yes or no because we have other people calling the line, walk-ins. We have things to do. This oh, is a yeah. hotel. Do you know you're well, calling? Hang up on them. Hang up on them. Yeah, just hang up on them. Sorry. Yeah, ma'am, there are people fucking in your establishment, and you're giving us attitude like this? No, I'm just I'm saying. I'm going to tell my pastor. Do you want the prices? Are you ready to decide if you want to book? We don't yeah, our, man, hey, we don't, pay for, we don't pay for sex. We don't pay for sex. That's true. That makes it a sin if you pay for that's it. That's what I look like, or that's what I sound like. I'm Sorry. sorry. We don't pay Nobody for sex. Procreation is the only the only excuse to put things in holes. Whole whole creation, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry that this has been on speaker. I want to tell you that you've been on speaker. Oh no! So there's multiple guests listening. Oh no! To you. But do you want to make a reservation? Oh no! Today? No. Okay. Tell sorry, them we're sorry. really sorry. You know, you know. Hey. Sit. Hello to Thanks. Nerd Boy D. Brandon, speech on John Deere. Let's play Samantha speaking. John Deere? <laughs> yes, this is Amanda. Hi. Um, I, hugging kiss. I was hugging staying kiss. there. I was staying there yesterday, and I accidentally the pillow. Mm -hmm. You left the pillow where? No, um, what happened is me and my my friend, um, we stay there, but we don't want our wife to know he has the balloons. So I put accidentally the pillow because we were drunk. Yeah, you guys are probably already in the hotel, so. No, you need to go get the pillow because I accidentally did something and it it's no good for you. And what room was Two you sixteen. in? 216? 216? Yeah, you guys was here yesterday. So why no, are you... No, um, you don't know. You guys are right. I, 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 me, I, I didn't mean to fuck the pillow, but I, just because I was drunk, you know? Yeah, I know. And the you balloons. guys were here yesterday. Okay, I got it. You guys were here yesterday. Do you guys want another room tonight? Yes or no? We just want to fuck the balloons and the pillows, please, please. Yes, and I know. I talked to you guys and I remember your voice. So, do you guys want another room or not? And and, and your big bubble butt. You are have a really rooms, round bubble butt from behind. Are the uh -huh. rooms creamy though? Um, this man right there? here. I met him. I met I met him yesterday, and he says he he he's seen your ass. Hello, I should deal yeah, well, with Yeah, well, my shift is about to be done, so if you guys want a room, you can have a room. If not, it's up to you. You guys were here yesterday, so do you want a room? Well, he said your dip. ass looks like two balloons um, and a pillow. Okay. I did not. Is that there true, is, or is he I lying? I will be able to give you the room, then. Well, no, what time are you off? No. We're going to come, and we're going to come, and we go, oh. Well, if you guys want a room, I can give you your room. Well, the pillows uh, are too creamy in your rooms. I don't like them. We, we cream the pillow by accident. We oh. fucking the pillows. They're, like, creamy, the pillows. Like when you lay your head down them, like cream squeezes out okay, the side. Okay, well, really um, if you could politely not call back tonight, I would appreciate it because it's a business, you know, and we're I not. I could call back either. rudely, not politely. Uh, you want our number so you can call us back? We're can you call not this number like back? disturbing you, oh. you know, we're just trying to do our job. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you care? You're leaving in a little bit, so shut up. Don't you fucking you start bitching. Police? You're going to go home. Are you guys the what? police? 
Why would you say that? Why would you say that? I don't know. It just uh, sounds like. Is this how the police talk? I think. But no, do you really want a room or not? Uh, fuck me, fuck me and my balloon dick. I want to buy the entire establishment. I'm a rich financier. Put the pillow under my ass and do it. If you want to get a room, maybe call back tomorrow when you're sober. No, I want all the rooms. I want everybody in the hotel ejected immediately to the body. Blow, put your lips and blow and blow. Ah. Uh, Sorry. How much? Name your price. So you want to know what the price is? The doubles are going for one twenty-one. No. I mean the price of the hotel, silly. The price. Be honest. Have you ever oh, blew up a I balloon with your lips? Be honest. Yeah. Have you ever I blown a balloon up with your lips? My laundry. Um, if you guys want to get a room, you gotta do your laundry. Just let me know, okay? Dirty because laundry? Are you washing your underwear in the hotel? I have other people calling in, okay? So I have to take this reservation. Well, what's to- wrong with them? No, oh, dude. Why no, we're calling? talking to you. We were here first. It doesn't matter if you were here first. I have to check my customers in to their room. Uh, no, no, no because don't. we're on the phone. You're helping us, and you're not going to be done until we're done. And that's I my mean, hotel I anyways, because I just guys, bought it. You guys don't want a room. You did not just buy the hotel. You're going to help us. You're going to help just, us whether you like it or not. Okay, look, now I look, have I to just, let you guys I just go, bought, okay? No, I no. just bought the place. You can't we don't give you nice. permission. Have we don't day. give you permission. I'm your new boss. You can't hang up on me. Went wherever the box cars took me. Busy in West Grinch, how can I help you? Hi, I'm in the room. I'm not wearing pants. Is that okay? Because there was a man here earlier. He said he had a computer. He was on the Wi-Fi, and he could see me through my computer. And he said he was from the front desk. You still Who was he? Yeah, well, I was, but I I got out because the man, he said he was from the front desk and What's he was looking that? at me. He was looking at me What's in my that? underpants. Just a second, hold on. Well, he was looking at my packer. Hello? Hi, hello. Who are you now? Oh. How can I help you? Yeah, I was staying there, and a fellow, a gentleman, called me on the room phone. He said, uh, I'm looking at your pecker. And he said that he worked for you, and he had some sort of uh, device on the Wi-Fi's. And he was looking at my computer. And I I was taking my clothes off in the room. Hello? Travel out to my Wyndham. This is Aaron. Aaron, my love, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. How are you? Oh, I'm great, honey baby. You got any rooms? Um, we do. Oh, cool. I'm here with my family in the station wagon. They've been fighting all the way, you know. We're just trying to get there. Could you tell me what your address is so I could, you know, get there through the GPS? I just need the uh, cross street to that. If you could do that for me. 2216 North Dodge. All right, let me hold on one sec. I gotta just put it in the machine here. Son, can you just hold the wheel for a second? I just gotta. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. All right, and then. Hey. Well, okay. You um, said. All right. Can you say hey, it again? Um, oh, no. Wait. I, I can hold it much longer. No. No. Thanks for calling Travel Lodge by Wyndham. This is Aaron. Hello? Hi, we just got disconnected. Yep. Yeah, we had a little bit of car trouble. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, uh, but we're still interested. Making the reservation. Okay, do you just want to get a room when you get here? 
Yeah, uh, you don't happen to have like a working knowledge of cars, like how to repair them maybe? Yeah, macaroni. macaroni. <laughs> Thanks for calling the hotel, Chauncey. This is Pete. How can I help you? Hi, Pete. Hey, Chauncey. How you doing? How you doing, bud? I'm all right. How are you? Ah, uh, you you acknowledge a name that wasn't yours. You're a buffoon. Wait, what? Yeah, I said, "What's up, Chauncey?" And you acknowledged it. You acknowledged it as if it was your own name. And now you're a buffoon. The hotel Chauncey. No, yeah, the I said you're Chauncey. You see, you see, you see what happened now. You see, you see, you sound like a stupid. We have pregnant. We have toilet baby. Yeah. Right hotel Vitro Cal speaking. In vitro? Oh. What's I, your name? Um, what, you, what your name is? Yeah, uh, what's your name? Oh. Okay, but why? What's your name, though? Thank you for calling Hyatt Place Downtown Iowa City. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, we're going to be coming through, and we have some odds and ends that we wanted to bring with us for our stay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to, like, have balloons be in the room. Like, we wanted to have it be like we open the door, and it's full of balloons. Yeah, I'm, like that's not something that we do here. Um, you would need to like check into your room beforehand and set that up on your your own time. Okay. Um, hmm. So you don't even like provide. Does that mean so we could like also if we have, have to bring the balloons, like we're at least like what if we do uh, inner tubes? If you do what? Sorry. Inner tubes. Inner tubes, like the you know the things that you take on a water slide. Um, I, I, I'm not really sure what what you mean by the question. Like I, I know what an inner tube is, but I, yeah, but it's like if we use those in the room instead of the balloons, like hotel tombs and tubes. Well, I mean, it's your room as long as you don't destroy anything in the room. You, you're you allowed to put things into the room that you, you're allowed to bring what you need to bring with you. Yeah. Do you want to show me your balloon tube? Oh, my God. What? What? Don't, oh, my God, me. Yeah. Oh my God! You, you Hang done up. Feeling special about yourself? No. Hang up the phone. What's wrong with you? What's oh, wrong? Oh, you want to get some jabs in? Wait, wasting a business's time. Do you have nothing better to do with your life? I guess not. Yeah, at midnight, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your loud life amounts to nothing other than playing a slot machine. <laughs> Yeah. Woo. You're a big man, aren't you? Why are you on the phone arguing with me? <laughs> I'm sorry that your life amounts to nothing. Your life amounts to nothing. You're a fucking dick. Asshole. You're wasting your time. You're a douchebag. Your coworkers probably fucking hate you. Piece of shit. You can't even hang up the phone. Oh my god. And so you lay the most nutty. Hi, at Regency. May I help you? Yeah, and that's when I, like, I tried telling the person before, like, it's not my fault that it fell out. Hello? Hi. Hi, at Regency? Yeah, it's not my fault that it fell out.
All right, Regency. Yeah, I don't understand why you why you hung up. Why, why I don't, happened? I'm not sure what you're saying about something falling out. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, it 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 fell out. Okay, I'm not sure what you're talking I'm not about. Sure, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why you don't understand this. Because this is a hotel, and I'm I'm calling. It, people usually are calling me to make reservations, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. But why? That's why I'm. Thank you for calling Staybridge Suites in Corville. This is Lily. How may I help you? Hey, Lily. Did I tell you about the time it fell out? Tom Place Suites, how can I help you? Hi. Hi. Hello? Hi. Tom Place Suites, how can I help you? Well, I I lost it. What did you lose? Uh, it, I, it's, it. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to explain it more. Thanks for calling Best Western. This is Nika. How may I help you? Hey, listen. I've got a problem over here. I was just on the, I was online. I was online with my little gambling broker, and I was betting on the ponies. Lost a shit ton of money. So, uh, when are you guys going to be running my credit card to charge me for this room? What's your room number? I, I would rather not disclose that at this point. I'm just trying to get a little bit of information and see how much time that I actually have to get some money in the account before you start running it and before you try to win it. Oof. Well, I kind of need to know your room number. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me just tell you. I'm checking. I'm checking out. I'm checking out on the 21st. So uh, we'll just do that. I've been here since the 14th. I will be checking out on the 21st. Okay, well, I mean, if you have the money in before then, but it runs um, nightly, so it's going to yeah. charge like, the room every night. Yeah, it's not going to go It's not gonna go through tonight. Right. Well, as long as you have the money by yeah. the time you check out, yeah, well, I mean, so if it doesn't go through tonight, but by the time I check it out on the 21st, if I have the money, we won't have a problem. Right. But, I mean, if you don't have the money, then that's going to be obviously a problem. Okay, so if I check out on the 21st, you're saying if I don't have the money, don't come to the front desk. You're still going to get charged regardless. Yeah, but I'm saying, what, like, what type of tr like are people going to come to my room? Are they going to like if I don't have their money because I've dealt with this type of shit before? I mean, is, well, is they totally going to come to my room? If you don't have the money, if you don't have because the money, I, I, I don't have a place to go. That's the problem. Okay, well, that's not our problem, is it? it that's no, not but my it's fault not that my you decided either. to gamble. That's not my fault that you decided to gamble. And you can't no, afford it's, it's to not. play for a I room. Agree. So right. what? So, but, what, but, but, so what's but, your room number? Because but, I'm gonna. I if you don't have the money and you're telling me now, I will call the cops. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. That's not my so fault. You're I the think, one gambling. Yeah. You you have a responsibility as a grown man to pay for your room. But, if you are spending your room money that you're staying here with. That's not our problem. But that, but but that's the thing. This was a sure thing. It was okay, a sure but that's thing. not that. But that's also not our problem. That you decided to waste I, money that you were gonna spend. Like that's not that's not our problem. That's a that's a you problem. Right. You have priority. Well, I, I I do, and and gambling should not be one of them. And I I fully agree with this but he told me it was a sure thing okay but that's not that's not my that's not my issue that's a you thing so right. what is your room because if you don't have the money and you know you're not going to have the money the 21st 
you're gonna I, I'm gonna well, try I, to find a, a way to kick you out because that's I, why why would you want to, that's not my fault you don't have a place to stay that's not my fault that you lost all your money for a place to stay I mean, I'm gonna like, be, don't you feel I'm, like a shit person uh, for that I yeah I why well, I do and that's why I got I you know I'm in the middle of a separation with my wife hence is why I'm staying here because my gambling problem. Okay, so then why wouldn't you fix your gambling problem if that ruined your marriage? Why would you keep gambling if that ruined your marriage? Like, wouldn't you want to make because yourself it's better? Because it's an addiction. It's, it's a sickness inside of me that I can't control. Correct. Well, then why don't you go get help? There's, there's help for that, especially gambling. That's a huge issue. But it costs money. Help costs money. But listen, okay, I'm going to so be a few dollars of using short that money, when it comes to... Tw- so instead of using that money to gamble, use that money to get help. You're using the same money. So why wouldn't you go get help for the it same. instead of wasting it? Yeah, but but if I figure if I have more more money by you know hence by gambling I collect more money, then I can get better help because I can afford better people that went to college longer. They have a better degree. Well, clearly it's not working out for you, though. I, you know, I don't know why I'm taking so much flack from you. You're working at night at a front desk right now. You know what's so funny? I got two jobs. I pay my own bills. I have two kids, and I'm getting my bachelor's degree. What does that say about you? But mm-hmm. but you just made my point. Like I make thousands I'm gonna of dollars. Go, I'm going to be an gambling. accountant. I'm already an accountant. I'm not in debt. I don't have addictions unlike you do. I'm not wasting my money on addictions unlike you. So don't come at me. This is just a job to hold me over until I get an actual accounting job, which I already have a job. So try again okay. there, buddy. Don't come at well, me. I, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm, You're the one I'm with an mean, issue I'm that can't meaning. pay your bill. So don't come at me. Oh, my God. I at least I, pay not, my I'm bills, and my wife didn't leave me meaning. because I have an addiction. So you might want to watch your work. I can't believe you. I, yeah, I can't believe you brought that into it. But well, no, you're the one I'm coming at me. You're the one you. coming at me. You're the no. you're the one coming at me. First of all, don't no. come at me no. because I ha- at least I have a job and I have a place to live that yeah, I pay for true. myself. So don't come at me. Yeah. But, and it's not my fault that you lost all your money. Right? But I'm just saying, like, if if you, yeah, right, I under, understand. But if you guys can like stretch me a line of credit until until like the twenty eighth. Have credit. This is this is not a credit card place. Everybody else I know, is but like, if I could just, just as much as you are. But if I could just stay here until the twenty eighth, I'm sure I'll have the money by then. I'll hit a hot streak. I'm telling you, like, I feel one coming on with with with. with with, with, you know, there's a hot streak in my future. I can only have so many downs. Well, I mean, if the way your negativity is, you're going to keep having downs. And the way you talk to people, you're going to keep having downs. Especially if you keep gambling, you're going to keep having downs. But nobody just, like, lucks and strikes, especially when they feel it. Like, I can't imagine yeah. having an addiction. I can't say that. I, I've never had an addiction of any sort. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't gamble because it's a waste of money. So, like, I can't say that, but I mean, the right thing to do yeah, is. But, to get but, it, do, but it, it does sound like you're you're addicted to work in in some in like success, like false false success, like a false uh, success. Weird. Because yeah, like I'm actually doing an illusion fine. of success. I, illusion. I think you're living an illusion, thinking that you're going to have a win streak gambling your money away when you lost your wife. I'm sure you probably have kids, so I'm sure she took those away from you too, right? And you have no well, place bring to my live, kids, correct? Don't bring my kids into this. Don't bring my well, kids into this. Well, don't come at me. I'll take care of my kids when I can. When, oh, can you? Because obviously you can't. Kids. If you yeah. can't, if, if you can't, obviously, if you're spending all your money, how are you going to take care of your kids? I take care of them at Christmas time, like when I'm supposed to, like a real adult. Oh, 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 Christmas, just Christmas. You know your kids yeah. live every single Christmas. day, not just holidays, right? Yeah, but you Christmas know, I'm a is single when parent they need of two gifts. kids, that's and when, I pay for that's my when kids. They need, that's when they need a. That's when they need an old daddy loves them. It's Christmas. No other time. Oh, is just your Christmas, Christmas is when they need day. daddy. Just Christmas is when they need yeah. dad, right? You don't know yeah, how yeah. mentally that's going to mess a kid up if you don't see your kid every day. 
Well, they don't buy me anything on Father's Day, so I don't know what they should expect. I mean, Christmas. Why should they? They are children. They don't owe you anything. My kids, I don't expect anything from them. Uh, I beg to differ. I gave them life. You gave them life. No, 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 no. I'm pretty yes. sure your wife gave them life. You did not have them. You just sperm came out of your probably tiny little penis and she, injected she into was, your wife. She was just a listen. She was just a semen receptacle until I met her. Okay. Well, any female is, but you didn't physically have her. They don't owe you anything. Including your kids you. don't owe you anything. You chose to have sex and have those children, correct? You chose. That. I did. And then you chose to marry, correct? Those kids don't owe you shit. So don't say listen, that. Listen, just without, on the holidays, without the semen, without the semen for my balls, she doesn't get pregnant, and then the world doesn't. She can get spin, pregnant okay? by anybody. So, it doesn't mean you. And you wait, know what? Right now, with the technology, they don't need semen for that. Actually, they need bone marrow. That is it. Wait, wait. They teach you this in accounting class? No, it's called actually educating yourself. Maybe you should probably do that. Oh, here we go. Tell me about the classes you took on Wikipedia now. Oh, Wikipedia? <laughs> yeah. You are something else, especially coming from a man who can't pay his own bills, right? Hey, you listen, can't afford listen. To live here. You're lucky I don't I'm know your room number bill. because I would call the cops and get you out of right. here. Yeah. Yeah, right. You'd be up here trying. You'd be up here trying to jump my bones and get pregnant, you hussy. Jump your bones? You sound like a six-year-old man who's a loser who has nothing. Please. I, grew up I have in high era standards in that. Oh, respect. No, you, you clearly have no respect, obviously, for women at all. What, 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 no, no, no. Why are you saying I have no respect? Why do you say I have no respect? Because the way you're talking to me, first of all, calling me a hussy, please. The way you are, no woman would want to be with a lowlife who has nowhere to live and who spends all his money and who doesn't um, see his kids hey. besides Christmas. I didn't have That's to. I didn't life. have to raise my voice. I didn't have to raise my voice until you until you got all excited and started pushing the buttons on the phone to hurt my earlobes. Stupid. Oh, because you came attacking me because you can't afford to I pay your bills. It. Like it's my fault. You're the one. You're the one raising your. You're the one raising your voice. And if you keep raising your voice, I swear to God, I'll stay until the fifteenth of next month. Stay till the fifteenth, and then see what happens. I, I will. You won't even find me. Thanks for calling Best Western. This is Nika. How may I help you? Hi, you hung up. I didn't finish my point. I did hang up because I'm sick of you saying this stuff to me. What is your name? My name is Dwight. Dwayne? I, I mean, if you want to mispronounce my name as some type of revenge, I guess. No, I could be I Dwayne. Could not hear my, name you. Is, I would. my name is Dwight. D-W-I-G-H-T. And the D is capital. Big D. You can call me Big D if you want. No, that's okay. Okay. Well, do you, do you want do you want to continue? Uh, well, I'm not going to give you my last name. We're not on that level yet. You're an angry woman, and I'm you an have angry blood woman. You came at me. Every, yeah. You came at me. No, I, w I would. Not, I no. would never do that. You're not my type. Oh, you. Mm, yes, you did. You called me a low life for working here and a hussy and all that stuff. So yes, you did come at me. Why do I need to continue to have this conversation with you? No. Do, do you want to pop one of your prescription pills and, and like, take a glass of water real quick and we continue the conversation? Yeah, Clay, that's the exact line of Clay. That was the exact Thank line. Thank you for calling the Hampton. It's Sweet Sierra Rapids North. Jerry speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Jerry, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but I, I went to go take my antibiotics because I had a severe uh, sinus infection earlier in the week. Uh, I took the blue pills instead of the antibiotics. Okay. I, uh, this thing's been hard for about three and a half hours, and I've got about a half hour before they said I should be concerned. Again, I am not a doctor, sir. This is the, I, this I is know, the hotel. But, yeah, but, but. I've transformed into a human curtain rod. Okay. But I... Uh, I, I recommend I, calling I, I, in I, I, the, the no, hospital. No, no, no. 
I can't afford those bills. Listen to me. I I ran I ran erection first into the wall several times trying to knock it down. I have penetrated the wall. There's fucking holes in the wall now. I don't have the money to pay for damages. Hello. I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do to help you. All right. Listen, you, that man, that man in the background, I just heard him. He was laughing. He was making noises. What is his name? I don't know his name, sir. Put him on the phone. No, sir. On the phone, he must go. No. Have a good night, sir. Tell Cat about that I, AI thing today. Hello? Hello? I installed the program I installed the program and now it's gonna destroy the room, but I don't I don't know if the robot's gonna work properly. Like did you put the destruction destruction depot? Yeah, Hello? Back there, yeah. Hello? Oh he's on the phone, yeah. Hi. Um we just wanted to put someone on notice that our AI robot is going to start destroying the room. And so there might be some noise we want people to be aware of, uh, so we don't. Like, start. what do you mean destroying the room? Well, we have to Does test its reflexes you... because we, we, well, no, we tighten the st we tighten the springs on the re on the elbow reaction, and we want to make sure it's going to do it right. So, it, like, the people then started you need to take complaining it about. To test it, then you need to test it outside. Oh fuck! Do you see how fast he swung that goddamn robot arm? Holy shit! Hello? Oh, hang on, yeah. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, fuck. I don't oh, like that's too tight. Calls. That's too tight. I don't like Well, then you're a fuck. You're wasting my well, time. Well, you're a fucking piece of shit, then. You're a piece of shit if you don't like it. Well, that room, I'm in. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, how many residents are in? Huh? How many? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why I asked that. Listen, I'm with transportation. I'm coming in the yellow cab. I have the uh, Crown Vic. It's painted yellow. It's got the checkers on the side. I'm going to pick up room 215. Uh, apparently, they have some type of family emergency. Can you pass me through to their room so I can let them know that I'm about five minutes out? Yep, I can send you through. Okay. All right, yep. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yep. Hey, Mr. Cheesy Motel 6, this is Dawn. How may I help you? Hello. Oh, my God. I've been, I've been waiting to meet you forever. I'd use you on my dishes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I know, right? Fuck Palm Olive. That's what I say. So listen, right. uh, I've, I've got I've got an issue up in this room. Okay, what room are you in? Well, I'm I'm in uh, one one eleven, and there's a pr there's a problem with the room grease. <laughs> one eleven. There is no one eleven. What do you mean there's no one eleven? There's no one eleven. I'm on the first floor, number eleven. Number 11. We don't have a room 11. Okay, but what room am I? Oh, my God. Can you look up my room number? I feel, I feel like I'm an incompetent buffoon right now. Okay, what's your name? Last name Johnson. J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Johnson. Uh, yeah. Might take me a minute to find you. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So what you you guys don't have a first you don't have a first floor? Yeah, we have a first floor. We, we, it starts at one twenty four. Oh. No Johnson. No Johnson. Okay. I'll, okay. I start, uh, huh? I, I I'm just trying to figure out what room is next to me because sh this woman she sounds rather elderly and she's making a lot of noises. Did you call the right <clears throat> motel? Yeah. I, it, I'm 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 against the wall right now. I let me, hang on. Let me look outside here. Okay, I'm in one. I'm holy fuck. I'm in one twenty seven. Okay, now we have one of those. One twenty seven. Yeah, 
And I'm outside of the door, and there's... There's no 127 rented. I'm going to let you go now. I, what? What? <laughs> God damn it. Thank you for calling to Hampton Inn in Waterloo. How may oh, I help thank you? Thank you. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. We don't have one of those. Sorry, I have something in my throat. Ah! It's a dick. All right, is there supposed to be somebody in your room? Hello? Good evening. Thank you for calling Comfort and Suites in Waterloo. This is Megan. How can I help you? Hey, Megan, do you know uh, Do you know this guy? Who is it? What's this guy's emotional name? He's a popular uh, tuber. Uh, he, he does the emotional damage thing. I'm sorry, do what you now? Know, this <laughs> I see what you did there. The guy that does the sound. Who does that? What's his name? Is this a joke? No, no. I, I'm call, I, like none of my friends. No, I googled it. I can't find it. Like he reviews people. Like um, yeah, Uncle something. That's his name. Uncle. Um, you know, uh, you call the hotel. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, I was calling information, but they told me to fuck off, so I called the hotel. You guys are full of information. Um, you know Uncle... Oh, Uncle Roger. That's his name. He He's a good guy. He's Asian. I don't know him personally, but he probably knows karate. Um, not sure. Okay, well, I mean, he's Asian. Do you think he would know karate? I don't know. Well, I mean, just based off the information, his name is Uncle Roger. He's Asian. Uh, I've he never. Knows, he knows it. Emotional. He knows that a lot. Do you, would you think he knows karate? Just based off the information. Maybe. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, uh, what you doing? I'm sorry, this has got to be a joke. No, no, I'm... Listen, it's Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm drunk. I'm very lonely. So... It's not... I'm trying hey, to... I'm trying to make Valentine's. Mm-hmm. It's Tuesday. It's Valentine's Day. No, it's not. This is Friday. What do, what do you mean? Tuesday... Tues, no, Tuesday is the 14th. It's Valentine's Day. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you drunk? No, are you... Uh, well, I mean, I got a light buzz going. I'm not going to lie to you because that's no way to start off a relationship. Relationship? Yeah, between between me and you. Um, I want to I wanna rent. Do you get commission if I rent a room? Do what now? No, I don't get any commission. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So if I come and rent a room from you, no, no commission? No. Oh, okay, so what do you get out of it if I come? If I come? Uh, that's not cute. This is a professional line, and I'm going to have to hang up now. No, no, no. I'm no, talking no, about no. if I come to the hotel. Thank you for calling a Oh, my God. Your line is I'm horrible. Hi. I'm... Oh, no, no. No, this I think he, I think he's, I think he's frying the the phone rice in the wok. Yeah, are you making ambient Jerk. rice with the phone? Can you take the phone out of the deep fryer, please? Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna go. Good night. Hampton and Sweet City. This is Jolene. Jolene, huh? Jolene. <laughs> Hi. How may I help you? Well, I'm Hi. a little drunk. I'm in the I'm in the room. I fell down. I got back up again. I fell down again. Got back up. Fell back down. Okay. Do you need me to call you an ambulance? 
No, because see, the problem is I got back up. Yeah, I okay. fell back down. So at this point, I'm back up again. But I'm anticipating falling back down huh. at any moment. Okay. You should probably just sleep so, on the floor. Well, no, no, no. Let me let me tell you. <laughs> can, I, can I tell you something real quick before I let you go? Yeah, sure. Okay, so listen. So so after I drank a little bit, I, I get knocked down, but uh, I, I get up again. And I, gra- I oh, grab that fucking Oh, you get knocked down, but you get back up again? Yeah, Sounds and like I grab this fucking bottle of boot. The fuck is that? So that's no when I grabbed idea. the bottle. Of, I got, I yeah, I got a bottle of Jack, right? And I look, I look Jack right in the uh-huh. eyes, and I said, I say, I say, you're never gonna keep me down. And then see, you're then never gonna keep me down. down. Yeah, that's why I tell okay. it, because I, I have an addiction. I have an addiction. And then I started. You have an I, I was like, eh. yeah, I do kind of. And then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and have a whiskey drink. But then. Like right after that, like shortly after that, I had a vodka drink. Interesting. Yeah. Then I had a lager, oh. and it was, but it was a dark lager. Then you had a lager. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know those uh, hard apple hard apple ciders that they make. Uh huh. Yeah. So I drank a cider. I, I drank a cider drink. Okay. Yeah, and then I that that song "Closing okay. Time." I don't I don't remember who sings that, but mm-hmm. it, it reminded me it reminded me of the good times because right. you know he sings the songs that remind him of, of the better times. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah. you sleep well. Breakfast is at six a.m. No, I want it now. Well, unfortunately, um, I don't know how to cook the breakfast here. Sorry. So 6 a.m. is... You're, you, 6 but wait a minute. I could be mistaken, breakfast. but you're, you're a woman, right? I am a woman. Mm-hmm. Do you have pots and pans? No, there's no pots and pans here. Just just baking. You have over... You have o- No, hey, you have ovaries? Um, that's a personal question that I don't feel obligated okay, to answer. Okay, well, well, if you got ovaries, get them eggs out. I want them over easy. Okay. Well, you have a great night. Well, you fucked Sleep that well. up. Fucked it up for me now. Thank you for calling the Countywood Hotel. If you see that, I was just telling you, may I help you? This is me, 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 on the radio. How are you? Thank you for calling Hello? the Kennewood Hotel. Hello? Thank you for calling the Kennewood Ho- yeah, Hotel. You, yeah, sorry. You didn't hear me? No, yeah, I listen, didn't. This is me, 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 I'm on the radio. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. You ready to win some me, me, me? To do what, some what? You do, yeah, I listen. I don't know if your your phone's working or not, but do, uh, are you ready? To win, 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 win? Yeah, I can't understand you, sir. No, no, I got a bunch of it over here. I got a bunch of, win, 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 and I'm ready to give it away right now on the radio. If you can answer one trivia question. Okay. Okay. All right. So what we're 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 gonna ask you a uh presidential question. Do you know a presidential question? Uh I can try. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. I, I want you to win. I want you to win. How many calories are in a in a McFlurry? Uh, uh, now we're gonna give you a range. We're gonna we're gonna give you a range. We're gonna okay. uh, uh would you say it's uh, one hundred to three hundred? I say three hundred. Three hundred to f- mm-hmm. All right, let's yeah. look it up here real quick. All right, let me pull out the card. Uh, oh, it, I should have specified one McFlurry. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just do the McFlurry. And you said how many? 
I say 300. 300. In a snack size McFlurry, uh, <laughs> there is, let's see here, snack size. Mark it down says snack size. Uh, and we did, you said 100 to 300 was the one you selected, right? Yeah. All right, and you're you're a winner. It's 100, 165 calories and a snack size McFlurry. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. So guess what? You you win. What's up? What do I win? Uh, oh, you win a snack size McFlurry. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What what kind what kind do you like to eat? Um, Oreo. Oreo is it is because you're you like you're you're just into biracial things, black and white no. things. No, I just like the I Oreo am. cookies. I am. I do. Do you like to twist them and eat the cream out of the center? Uh, no, I like to dip them in milk. I I do. I, I like to twist them and eat the cream out. What kind of milk do you drink? Like, what type? What type is your favorite? Um, one percent. Why? Like, you're not fat or anything. You could be. You could be drinking whole milk. Um, I don't like whole milk. Yeah, but I'm. I'm saying you're not fat. Like, you could put on the extra fats and the calories, like in your system, and you'd still be good. How do you know what I look like? Because I'm knocking. I'm like outside the the door right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, listen. I, I'm gonna lick this window. And I'm gonna lick the window. You're gonna do what? Do you, do you know the window? Yeah. I'm gonna lick it. Watch. Wait. Move, hey, move on to the, move to the left a little bit. I can't see you. Ah, there you are. Who are you? My name is Dwight, and I'm a reformed criminal. Okay. Can I can I can I rent a room? Will you let a a reformed criminal rent a room? I don't know. 98.6. Come out. That's, that's, I used to be associated with that radio station, but then they I kept putting my wanger on the glass. Oh, no. Okay. They called it 98.6, the mouth incident is what they called it. And that's because I kept going around going, Okay. So, like, like, how, like, how old is you is? Um, I don't need to tell you that, but um, I'm gonna hang up. Well, well give me a range, cause, I, cause no, no, cause I give you a range of the calories, and I let you win. Like, give me a range, and I'll guess. Um, for a room. <laughs> No, for the age, for the age. I don't I don't want a room. You guys' rooms are dirty. I'm going to hang up the phone now. No, no, give me range. Give me range. Come on. I'm not giving you a range. I'm going to hang up now. Thank you. Listen, no, no, listen. I like guessing games. Move to the left. I put frosting on my salads. <laughs> City Avis. Why did what, did I? Oh, I'm a little dumbfounded right now. Did I just hear somebody moan erotically when you picked up the phone? No, sir. Okay. I'm just I'm just a little concerned. So okay. I have a I have a I have a salad up here, and do you guys have any condiments of any type down there at the front? Um, uh, 
do we have any like salad dressing or anything like that? Yeah, some sa- some frosting for my salad. Hello, sir. Yeah, hi. Hello. Yes, we don't have any yes, salad hello. dressing. There. Hello, can you, you hear me? You don't have any. You don't have. Yeah, you don't have any salad frosting. No, we do not have it, sir. Okay, because the 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 guy that brought the DoorDash, he forgot to bring the salad dressing, so I'm looking for the frostings. Okay, but we do not have them. I'm very sorry. Okay, I yeah, okay. I'm I understand. It's just it's just the salad's a little dry. If I bring it down to the front, can one of you ladies spit on my salad for me? Okay, what? Sorry, sir. I'm just wondering if if I what well, because my salad's dry. And I need some type. I, it's got to be a little more wet for me to consume this. Otherwise, I'm going to choke on it. If I bring it to the front desk and I turn my back, will one of you ladies please spit on my salad? I'm very sorry, sir, uh, but no. Oh, I, I mean, I'm not going to make any complaints or anything like that. I just need uh, some lubricant. Uh, sorry, sir, but we do not do that. Okay, I mean, not... Not even just a, like one of those. It is spit on my salad. Have a great no, sir. Spit on my have salad. Come on. Put, have put a your great mouth on my day. salad. Bye. Spit. Spit on my. Salad. I want an express to be speaking. Hello. Hi. Do you have any board games down there? No, we sure don't. Oh, you don't have like catch hopoly or some I don't the game I've never life. seen no I don't. Sorry no. about that. How about that. a Ouija board? You have mm. a Ouija board? I mean you can come down but I'll look in this one thing, but I don't think so. Oh, do you have any like playing cards like poker? Yeah, we cards? Ha- I think I do have playing cards. All right. You got poker chips? Uh, no. But you can come down and I'll show you what I have. Do you have young and available men? No. (laughs) Thank you for calling Super Talk. Can I help you? Hello. I'm here with my brother, Sanjay. He's tickling my (laughs) wife. I tickle you. He's tickling my words in the room. Would you like to come up and tickle my words? (laughs) You little bakery child, what are you doing? Thank you for calling Super. How can I help you? Hello. Hello. Hello there. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. I have a problem in the room, please. Uh, What room number? 215, there's a chutti of masala in my room. 215? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Sorry, 215, no room available. What room number? Please make sure. Uh, th- yeah, can you look up, uh, can you look up my room? But what room number? Um, my, my name, my name is Ben John. Ben Chod. And room number? Room number 110, Ben Chod. Okay. 110? Uh, one, one, yes, yes, 110. One, Can you come into office? I give you another room. Hey, hey, who are you, you fuck? Oh, motherfucker. Hey, listen, Ben Chod, motherfucker, what is the problem? You, you motherfucker. No, you are Terry Maki Chut. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. I asked you two months to lose 60 pounds. What happened? What? I gave you two months to lose 60 pounds. You come back to the office, you gain eight pounds. What happened? I think you called wrong number, sir. 
No, my name is Dr. Now. And where are you calling? The hotel. I mean, the what hotel. What do you need? I need um, uh, one GB Road Rundy. Do you have? If you call next time, I call the police. Okay. <laughs> no, don't call. Hey, your husband is a gay. He is a, he is a gay. I just you want like, you to know, like, your, like, know your, your husband is a man. gay. He came up. He's annoying. Did you say hello, annoying? Hello? Ma'am? I want to anoint her, her vagina. I want to. Thanks for calling Island and how can I help you? Hey, you fuck. Huh? Hello? 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 Wrong number. Hi. Thanks for calling Deezer and how can I help you? Hey, oh my God. I'm glad you answered. Do you have the juice? Pardon? The juice. Um, for what? For, to drink? Yeah. Okay, well, when can I get some? Because we have the balloons, and we got the guys coming for the party. Um... Are you at a hotel? Are you at the hotel? Yeah, I'm at the. Yeah, I'm at the hotel. I think there's a vending machine. What room are you in? Oh, I'm in. I'm in two fifteen, but I need gallons because I'm going to fill these balloons up with with the orange juice. And when the guys when the guys come in, I'm going to poke holes in the balloons and it's going to rain orange juice in the room. You didn't. You didn't okay. see the flyers I've been distributing. You didn't see the flyers I've been distributing in the in the hotel. No. Yeah. Oh my God! I can't believe you seen. It. I I I distributed close to five hundred flyers in this hotel. It's the OJJ. It's the OJJ is what they call it. Uh, two two eighteen. Um. Can you hold on a minute? I mean, I can try. For how long? Uh, just give me a few seconds. Okie dokie. You know? Thank you, Carl Ramada. This is Manuel. How can I help you? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, my brother and I, we're playing Secret Ninjas in the room. We want to know if you want to come up here and play with us, too. Can I help you with something else? Yeah. Yeah, we're, um, <clears throat> we're playing ninjas, and we're killing all the roaches that we found in the room. Oh, yeah. Um, we're starting with the ro Yeah, we're starting with the roaches, and then we're okay. going to chop up all the bed bugs. Yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, why do you have... Why do you have roaches and bed bugs in the room? You ever question that? I don't know. That? I don't know what hotel. What, what hotel are you at? The Ramuda. That's not even how you say it, dog. That's funny though. Have a good Friday night, man. Try somewhere else. It's. Rodwin, may I help you? Hi. Hello. I have a question. Yeah, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can I keep all the animals that I found in my room? Do you, can I keep them? Yep. Yeah, I found um, a raccoon, a woodchuck, some otters. I think there's some snakes Which room under the bed. Calling? Which room do you call in? Oh, I'm not calling a room, but yeah, I'm in room 215. 
you said 215 yeah the um the otters are eating the roaches and which which room are you calling from 215 I'm calling on my cell phone though. I'm not calling. Yeah, I'm not calling from the room phone. Yeah, what's your name? Oh, is that an elephant? I heard it sound like an elephant. Anyways, yeah. do you have a room here? Yeah. My first name is Ben. Middle initial. What's name? K. First name is Ben. Middle initial K, last mm -hmm. name Lodi. Lodi. Yeah, Lodi. Ben K. Lodi. Lodi. Yeah, my Lodi, sister I don't is have here too. In room. Yeah. Maybe it's under my sister's name. Yeah, I don't have the room 215. Hello, Chop. Yeah, my, huh? my maybe it's under my sister's name. Her last name is Bakri. Who are who are you, motherfucker? Huh? I am the big. I am the big. I am the big board mark. You come here. I man. was born come on. Come to my property. But I was born on GB Road. I'm a poor come, boy. Come here, I'm a know? poor family. Come. come Come here, man. What am I going to do there? Yeah, come here and show me the face, you know. Oh, you want you want me to come front and show you my face? Yeah. Yes. No. I'm ugly. You don't want to yeah, see me. Yeah, do that, man. Do that. No, I don't want to have sex with you. You motherfucker nut. Piece of shit. Hey, don't be. Good evening, Boars and Sweets by Cobblestone and Grand Island. This is Jamie. Can I help you? Good evening, Boars and Sweets by Cobblestone and Grand Island. This is Jamie. Can I help you? You you did you weren't concerned at all about my gag reflex? No. Okay, Can I help well you? you're a, well I mean that's something you should have asked when I called initially. Now I feel I you're apologize, an untrusted. I thought... Okay, hey, I apologize. Don't 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 it don't interrupt me. I feel you're an untrustworthy whore now. Okay, thank you. And I need you. to speak to someone else. Okay, there's nobody else here, and I've got other guests to attend to. Thank you. Oh, my God. You, you. <laughs> Fuck me, Daddy Trump. USA in mortal. May I help you? You have both? USA in mortal. May I help you? I'm your slave, Daddy. This is the USA in mortal. Okay. Hey, you. Oh, is this a racist one? USA? Yeah, this is the motel, yeah. Oh, racist hotel. Hey, how long have you been racist hotel? Sorry? How long have you been racist hotel? Racist? What is that? R racist, yeah, racist. Racist hotel. I don't understand. This is the oh, motel. Like yeah, racist oh, hotel. USA in Smarter. Yeah, racist. Why is this hotel USA. racist? Racist hotel. Why is it racist? I don't know. Yeah, why? Why are why are you a racist? Why? Why can't I stay here? Why you're is racist. That? I don't know why what you're you talking about. Why are you racist hotel? Thank you for calling the Cobblestone Hotel and Sweet and Devils like North Dakota. This is Marshall. Can I help you? How are you? I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. I want to have them answered okay. immediately. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Excuse me? Who is your daddy and 
Okay. What does he do? Thank you for calling the Fireside Inn. This is Tegan. How may I help you? Hi, do you have any portable appliances? No. Oh, okay, because I have like one hot plate in the room and I need two because I'm making pasta and I need another one to heat up the sauce. I'm afraid that we don't have any. Oh. Do you have like a, a smoker or a hibachi grill or anything? No. Jeez. How am I supposed to cook for like, there's like 50 people coming to my room tonight and I'm trying to get everything cooked for them. Uh, I'm sorry, but we do not have those items. Is there like a quiet time? Because like I'm having a party and I just don't. I don't want my neighbors to get mad. I mean, as long as you guys aren't loud enough to wake your neighbors, it should be fine. Okay. Yeah, just... So, like, when... Well, I was thinking about having a DJ table down in the parking lot. I don't know. No, that wouldn't be... allowed. Oh. And I was going to have, like, some fireworks and some, um... Uh, yeah. <laughs> dog and pony show. I was going to have horses, too. Get them here real quick in this weather. Um, but, yeah, we don't have any of those items, so... Is there anything else you were needing? I'm also going to have the game... Yeah, I'm also going to have the game where you toss a plastic ball into a fish bowl, and if you make it in, you get the free goldfish. Right. Well, if that's all you were needing, sir, I need to go. So you have a good night. And then I'm going to have a... I'm going to have the dunk tank. You throw the ball. The Dunkin' Donuts tank, yeah. Six and senior, this is Lauren. How may I help you? How are you? Six and senior, this is Lauren. I'm good. How are you? I want to ask you a bunch of questions. I want to have them answered immediately. Okay. Who is your daddy? And what does he do? I'm sorry? What was the question? Who is what is the square root of zero? Are you calling to book a room or do you have a request for a room? Yeah, I'm calling the phone machine to book the room machine. Give me just one moment. Hello. Give me one moment. Uh huh. Can I pay with iTunes gift cards? I have a lot of those. Thank you so much for holding. As the How years went by. Were... Oh, I was I was just going through it, you know. About Mrs. Hardgrove's. Hey, um, were you looking to book a reservation? Yeah, but I'm with. I wanted to stay there because Miss Hargrove is staying there too. <laughs> She's a witch. <laughs> Okay, if you don't have a serious request, then I am going to have to disconnect the call. <laughs> no, I, I have very serious requests. <laughs> you. How many serious requests do I have to have in order to stay on the phone? <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful number. night. Have a great day. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. See you in. I help you. Siri is. Hey. Siri, I don't trust you anymore. Your beds are full of mice. There's animals eating me at night. I don't trust you anymore, Siri. In. 
Yeah, we tried returning our sheet, and they didn't give me back the deposit. Which room? 215. Yeah, when I checked in, the lady said that I needed to put down a deposit for the sheet, which I thought was odd, but I was like, okay, whatever. And I brought the sheets back to the front desk when I checked out, and she didn't give me a refund. She said something about them being <clears throat> too creamy, something like that. What uh, day did you stay? I was yesterday. What's the name? Joan. Ask him how round his asshole is. Oh, yeah, Beelzebub was staying in the room, too. All the way to the left. Thank you for calling SureScape Plus by Best Western and MyNet. How can I help you? Hi, do you have any coconuts down there? No. Oh, the last hotel I stayed at had ample coconuts, so I was just checking if you nope, guys were we similar in what you offer. Nope, we don't have any. How am I supposed to make... Oh, because I'm playing a game of telephone. Where you where you take one end of the coconut and you run a wire between the coconuts and then you talk uh, to each other. I guess you go to Hawaii. I so also can them. wear them. You can also wear them um, to support your moves. They're very supportive of moves. What's that noise? Nothing. Oh, it's a very odd sound. What would you say to a man who wore a coconut bra? What would you say? I wouldn't say anything. Not, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? Nothing like that? Nope. Are you doing dishes? No, I'm not. Is this intermittent water sound? I think you have a leak. Okay, well, all I need to get off the phone then so I can go check it out. Yeah, there might be a puddle right below you. Yeah, those people are fornicating. I have fucking time for fucking stupidity. You should call a call or um, fix your urethra. Hotel Rebel, how may I help you? Hello? Don't cry. Hello? Hey, why are you getting all fucking? Hey, hey, hey! Why are you fucking doing the aggro shit? Why are you yelling the hello at me down the line, motherfucker? I'm not yelling at hello down the line, man. Watch your mouth, bro. Ah, ah fuck you! Now, now, do my bidding, you little monkey. Have a good night, sir. Oh. Love you. Which way is it? Country and Suites Minot, this is James. Yeah, which way is it? Hey, which way is it? Because I'm in my car, I've been driving all night. Which way is it? What's the cross streets? Here, let me put my brother on. I'm driving. Okay. Okay, I've got my hand on the wheel. Yeah, where where are you guys at right now? Do you, do you know? Uh, we're, we're over by the mall um, <clears throat> and uh, Lobby Lobby. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Crappers in. Hey, I want to know why there's no asparagus in my room. Uh, what? Yeah, when I did the check-in, when I went online to reserve this room, I said asparagus. I clicked the asparagus fucking add-on. I got in here, no asparagus. 
I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You know what asparagus is, right? They have white, they have purple, they have green. Green is the most common asparagus type. Okay, but I honestly have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Okay, I don't know let me if explain. You're being I went to, or what? No, no, no. Let me explain. I went to Travelocity.com to book this room. We don't do anything with Travelocity. So, I can stop you right there. Well, no, they do it with you though. They have you listed. No, we and then don't. They we don't have your... any communication with Travelocity. I can tell you that right, right. now. But what they link to your website. I went to your website. I did a booking online. Do you follow so far? Right. We don't have add-ons. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So, well, that's the problem. What's in, in the room is in the room. And then it asked. It says, do you need any other additional amenities? And I clicked asparagus. There is no asparagus in this room. Right. Uh, I don't understand what the hell is happening right now. I, I can I'm tell you trying, what, I'm 100% sure that we do not have any communication with Travelocity. So there is right. no way they know that we could, would offer any services of that kind. No, no, no. You're not, you're not understanding. Travelocity linked, they, they recommended. They, they were like, boom, you're trying to travel to this area. Here are your local hotels. I clicked on your website, and I did the book. Yeah, we don't have asparagus then, in the room. But that's the problem. <laughs> it's it's, it's offered asparagus. Yeah, it, oh, no, it said add-ons. Asparagus. And then I was like, there is because no asparagus add-ons. offers... What's in the room is what's in the room. You don't I, have I any don't... asparagi to put into my room because it offers vitamin <laughs> A, C, K, E, folate, and potassium. And that's what I'm looking for in a hotel I bought. Well, I am very sorry, but we just do not have that. We're a small hotel in a small town, and we don't have asparagus stands on every street. Well, I, I, I recognize that. Uh, is there not a whole food so I don't understand here, how this is my I... fault in any way. Well, I mean, you guys offered asparagus, and I, I, don't I offer added anything. the asparagus. I offer two beds, a roof, a shower, a coffee, microwave, TV, internet. That's all I offer. There's no other add-on. I mean, I mean, I'll cook the asparagus whichever way you have. If you have the coffee, you have the microwave, the the sh- I mean, I, I don't know how no you cook asparagus, asparagus in the shower. None. You can't even get it across right. the street or anywhere. You'd have to go. I don't freaking know. Probably. Dickinson would well, be the closest the st- place to get asparagus, but what's across yeah, the you street? can't get asparagus here. But what's across the street? The Dollar General. Oh no, no, we're not getting asparagus from Dollar. I wouldn't eat, even if they no. had it. I would not. I wouldn't buy. It. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't recommend it either. No, but anyway, well, yeah, I mean, we have no it would, it would be, we have it would no add-ons. Fabric. It would be. Uh, there is no false okay, advertising be, because we didn't advertise it. No, 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 not with you, not with you, with the Dollar General. I don't associate oh. with them anyway. They say Dollar General, but none of their shit is a dollar. Well, right, but it's just the name of the store. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, I, under, I understand. All right, I understand, fine. You don't have asparagus available. You can't go available. to the dollar store and expect to spend a dollar. There's going to be taxes and shit. Yeah, I, I agree. But I, I understand you don't have asparagus. I, I will be willing uh, to work with you. I will exchange my asparagus for cactus then. For what? Cactus. Why don't you exchange it for the moon? <laughs> I, that would be I, I a little ridiculous. I, I don't have cactus? anything. I don't have anything. Well, I don't understand what the hell's happening well, I, right now. I don't, I, really don't. I, I, don't, I don't understand. I do an add-on for asparagus. You don't have asparagus. I compromise. I go for cactus. I mean, you say you don't have I cactus. I don't have I mean, anything. What, what do I just told you oh, what I had. Oh. It's what's in the room is what's in the room. There's no other add-ons so, I could do. So you don't have cactus. There is nothing more I could do. I, I, I don't know what's happening here. I can't tell if you're okay, punking so, me or what. No, no. So, okay. Does the room have shampoo? I believe it does. Yep. Does it have a bar of soap? soap in the shower. Does it have hot water? Absolutely. Okay. So what doesn't it have? It, 
I explained to you what the room has is what we advertise. It's got two beds or a single, whatever you get. It's got a TV, microwave, coffee pot, internet, towels, yeah, washcloths. But that's what. But that's what confuses me a because toilet. you say you don't have cac. You say you don't have cactus. You don't have you don't have asparagus. But cactus and asparagus are recession proof. Right. I don't have a freaking garden out here that I could just go grab one. You can't go grab what? No, I don't have any way to get one. There's no asparagus here. I, I'm going to have to hang up now. I'm sorry. I can't argue with this about all night. What room what are you cactus? in? I'm, Hello? I'm in 110. Yes, 110. 110. Okay, well... You can take it up with management tomorrow, but I am done. Do they have a garden I'm sorry, at home? Sir, a personal garden? I can do. <clears throat> Cactus? Huh? I, I can't do Cactus. anything. Cactus? I'm sorry. Cactus? 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 I can't do anything. Good night. Cactus? 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 Formed one side of the bridge, tripping the circuit breaker. This is Becky. Yeah, I listen. Uh, hey, hey, Becky. Listen. Uh, you you know about the toaster I have in the room, right? They they notified you I was going to bring bring in my own toaster. Um, they didn't notify me, but I mean, if the okay. Well, I needed know. to notify. Well, well, I didn't want to because uh, it, it draws a lot of electricity. It's a nineteen seventies toaster. Uh huh. And it, so it draws a lot of electricity. What room and are you in? So. I'm in I'm in uh, one one eleven. Okay. And so I was trying to I was trying to warm the sheets. Uh huh. But it only toasted the one side and it burnt through. So did it and, like, blow the breaker? No, no. The the to the like the toaster works great, the electricity is fine, the breakers are great, but the the sheets only one side got brown. What do you mean the sheets? I was trying to warm them because it, I I run a little cold. But I got I don't know what they actually call them. My my doctor said I something about uh, reptilian circulatory system. Like I What's run cold. What's the last cold. name on your room? Last name is Johnson, and so I was trying to warm the sheets. That ain't on, the, like, that's not in my system. So are you doing a prank call or? Oh my. You got to be kidding me! People still do those. I guess. I yeah, no. Um, so what what happened? Like I said, I, mean, I was just trying to warm them up. I don't have a dryer or anything like that. That's normally what I do at home. I'll run them through the dryer and stuff right before I go to bed. They're nice and toasty and warm. But I don't have that because I'm on the road. Okay. I don't know so why you're using. I the have. I, well, it supplies heat. Like direct heat, like uh, and, and, and I don't if get it's what small you're enough, saying. It's like indi- I think you're just well, pulling my leg because your name is not on 111. What? No, no. That's what I'm saying is I'm probably gonna need a additional set of sheets because I've overcooked these ones. Oh, you being a sm- I've over I've, I've over warmed them. <laughs> yeah. You're being a m- A lot of times people end up calling us like 20 times, so they start harassing us when we only made one call to them. It's pretty interesting. Thanks for calling Super 8. How may I help you? Well, well do, 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 do you have hands? Hello? Yeah, hi. Do you have hands, is my question. Do you? I do, but my problem is associated with the, with the room. I come in my room after I've been gone for three quarters of the day. Somebody has sat on this bed, on this bed and wrinkled the duvet. Okay, um, what's your room number? I, I'm in 211. Somebody sat there, I'm not going to, I don't want to be derogatory, but they're enormous fucking ass on my bed while I was gone. 
and now everything is wrinkled. The sheets are pulled back. You know how they're tucked up towards the front to look nice and neat under the pillows? That mm-hmm. shit's down low now. Um, can I get the name I need on the someone, I need, Yeah, Johnson. And now I need someone to come up to my room and pull the sheets tight. I don't want any wrinkles in this bed. I don't want it looking like some old geriatric man's penis. You're in 211? Yeah. That's what Um, I said, honey. I have a different name under that reservation for that room. That's not not my problem. Okay, well, um, are you sure you're in that room? Because... Absolutely not. Well, our housekeepers will be here in the morning. We're not allowed to go oh, into the okay. rooms. Okay. Yeah, but how am I supposed to sleep in this tonight, looking like this? Um, I'm not sure. Look at what I mean. This bed right now. Looking at it. I could looks maybe like try to move you to a different no, room. Uh, you're gonna have to do something because this bed. It looks like Madonna's underarms, like her ugly underarm mom arms. Gross. Okay, well, you could come down to the desk and we'll get it figured out. Well, you just give me another room. I'll find the room. You tell me the room, I'll count the rooms. You tell me You tell me 112, you tell me 115, I'll find 115, I'll find 112. I can count. I went to college. Okay. Your mom went to college. Who who the, who was who the fuck was that? <laughs> Thank you for calling Grand Gateway Hotel. How can I help you? No, I'm t- I'm telling you guys, just tuck it under the bed. They won't find it till we're fucking gone. Hello. Hello. How can I help you? Hello. Yeah, hi. We need to you? check out early. Yeah, we need to check out early. What's the room number? Uh, we're in 215, and we need to check out, like, in the next 10 minutes. Okay. What uh, room number? So, we... Uh, what... What... <sighs> Guys, hang on. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Guys, just put in the in the case. Put it in the case. Let's go. I've, I've already hit the... I've already What's hit the, the auto start... On? It's already it's it's warming up now. It's warming up. Get get that shit in there. Um, we're leaving. On any convention center, how can I help you? Hi, I'm with transportation. I'm trying to get a woman with the last name of Bitch. I don't know if that's real. It it says B E E T C H. You have Beach, maybe. Um, I said Amy, Amy bitch. Yeah, I don't have one of those. All right, are you big? What now? Are you big? No. I'm big. Okay, I'm hanging up now. I want I big. Want big. <laughs> in a convention center, how can I help you? Hey, how you doing? I'm calling regarding a, uh, I, I guess, a question about one of the rooms. I'm getting ready to book online. Okay. Now, in in the room, like I'm looking at a, you have you have kings, right? King size. We, uh, let me see if we have any left. We should, but let me see if we have any left. Yeah, we've well, got I'm, king room. No, no, I'm, I'm. I'm uh, I'm not looking, like, right now. I'm getting ready to book for next month. I just had some questions. Yeah, no. We have king rooms. Kings. Okay. Uh, do mm-hmm. you do smoking strictly, or you have non-smoking? What do you have? It's um, all non-smoking. We have smoking okay. areas outside, but uh, they're all non-smoking. Okay. What about uh, let me about vaping? Because I know it's not really... I don't know how you guys also categorize that, smoking. because I know... Smoking. Okay, great. If it um, has if no. it has smoke coming out of it of some sort, it's smoking. 
Got, I, I mean, I got you. I, they, they, you know, smoke, water vapor, they all do all that nonsense, really. Um, do you have a breakfast system, I guess? We do. Um, I don't know what it's going to be during that month, but at the moment, oh, no, I understand. it starts at about 5 a.m., runs till 9.30. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Um, I, I guess, let's see, I'm trying, I'm trying to think. My wife gave me a whole list of questions to ask. I think we're pretty much through everything. Um, oh, oh, here's one I didn't cover. Are, are you a big girl? What now? Are you a big girl? What do you mean? Like, rotund. Big girl? No. How big a girl are you? Why does that matter? It's, I mean, it's a weird question. My wife, my wife put it on here. She doesn't want any attractive people that I would be dealing with if I was checking in or uh, dealing with any type of room issues. How big a girl are you? Um, wait, she doesn't want you talking to anybody who's attractive? Is that what the thing is? Well, because I have a thing for big girls, so she always makes me ask how big a girl is going to be at the front desk. How big a girl are you? I'm the night audit, so you probably won't be dealing with me. Well, no, see, that's the problem is I'm I'm nocturnal. I uh, have a lot of problems with sleeping, so I am up all times of the night, so a lot of my questions come at night, hence is why I'm on the phone with you right now. Um, yeah, I'm, so I'm how, not how, a big girl, I guess. No, I well, I mean, I mean how, how big a girl are you? I'm not a big girl, so it doesn't really matter. Sorry, the question's so just kind of... I mean, I'm... I mean, you're you're female. I'm assuming. Yes. All right. How how tall? I'm short. Under five well, five. I, well, I would. <laughs> under five five. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. In. How many pounds? I'm not going to answer that. Has anybody described you as a short stack of pancakes from IHOP? No. Dude, these questions are incredibly uncomfortable. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just jotting this down for my wife. And if it was up to me, I would not ask you these questions because I find them incredibly uh, offensive to me. And But if I don't ask them and I don't report back to her, she's going to be very cross with me, and I did not sign a prenuptial agreement, and basically, she can quit me for any reason, and I got to give her 75% of my things. <clears throat> ah, okay. Um, I am still not answering that question. Sorry, that's like, uh, no, that, that, uh, no, no, that's, that's fine. I'm going to just mark down that I asked. She can't be mad at me if you don't answer. Ah, okay. I mean, we're, 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 good, we're good there, right? Like, I'm not trying to offend you. Uh-huh. No, I'm just making sure we're good. Like, because I don't want any weirdness when I, next month when we come in there... You, I mean, you're not going to know who I am or anything like that, but I don't, I don't want to be weird around you. I don't want you to be weird around me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, any other questions besides that one? Um, I, I, I guess at, at, at what age did you kiss your cousin initially? What now? What age? Huh? Are yeah. you asking my age now? Yes. 25. Okay. 25. Yeah, much too much much too young for me. Mark this down. Clarissa is going to be she's going to be so happy about this. And when was your last bowel movement? 
Uh, none of your business. Well, and well, it's my wife's business, not mine. It's none of her business either. Oh, all right. None. Was it what? What was the hue? My wife is a very jealous woman. Yeah, still not answering if, that question. If, if if your defecation was browner than hers, then me and you have to get married legally. No, I don't. Well, I mean, that's not up to me, me or you. She she is a pastor, and if she says we're married, we're married. No, no, it, that's not how it works. So that's so how I'm she not... explained it to me. Well, I mean, I am Wiccan, so that's not how it works. Oh, oh, I, yeah, I, I eat vegetables, too. I love all that shit. I'm a witch. No, don't call yourself that. I mean, what man hurt you that made you believe that? No, no, I am a literal practicing witch, dude. Yeah, I mean, men shouldn't call you a bitch, like, to bring witch down... Witch, as I, in W. I I, what, in w, like, what, the president? George W.? Yeah, witch. I am a practicing Wiccan. Okay, yeah. No, I understand. You don't you don't eat any anything that had a mother or No. Uh, the king. Those things that were burned nope. at the stake during the Salem trials, that's what I am. This I don't, was this a recent thing? Hang on, let me Google this. Are you talking about that train derailment in Ohio? Yeah, but are you are you talking about that train derailment in Ohio? Hang on a second. <clears throat> Try typing in W W I C C A N. Okay. Uh, let me see here. All right, fucking Google Premium. All right, so Salem, Salem, is that Massachusetts? That is indeed. All right, Massachusetts. So what are we looking at? Are we looking up the median income there? No. Try typing in this instead of Salem. W I C C A N. All right, hang on. Uh, the, no, the median income is 35899 as of 2020. No, 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 that, that's Salem. not what I'm talking about. I'm saying I am not the <clears throat> same religious I don't have the same religious beliefs as your wife, so that's not going to fly. What, you're, you're Pentecostal? No. Oh, you, you don't eat meat, you only eat fish. No. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I am a heathen. Heathen. How, how do you spell that? H E A T H. A N. Heathen. All right, let me. Heathen. A person who does not belong to a widely held religion, especially one who is not a Christian, Jew, or Muslim, as regarded to. All right, hang on. He has a quote here. My brother and I were raised. As my mother puts it as heathen. What is, so you're saying heathen is like another word for incest? No. No, but it But that's means, what it says. It says, it says no, my brother and I were raised, as my grandma puts it, as heathens. Yeah, that just means so, that you're not raised in the Christian faith. I am not Christian. So, inner, well, no, this is saying like inner, inner family, like, like sex, I'm... No, that's not what it means. It means that I am not Christian. Your wife's belief hold no hold over me. So no matter what happens, I'm not married to you. But if she says, if she, no, she's a, she says, then we are. That sucks for her because no. No, we're not. <laughs> well, no, it, 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 it sucks for me because I don't know you. 
And if she's it, just, it's, she just, like, that's It's a saying. legal matter, too. Unless I sign a piece of paper saying we're married, we ain't married. But she says she says she has power over the pagans, the 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 infidel, the. Oh, I can uh, guarantee I, you, I, she does I, not. The idol. Okay. She says idolater. Yeah, she doesn't have any power over me. But she she says she has double power over Wiccans. Well, she does not. She doesn't. And arguing with me isn't going to change that. I'm not trying to. Now, I'm not trying to argue. She she uh, she said she can do. She she's watched the craft. I don't know what that is. like. I don't know if she's talking about the macaroni and cheese or the movie. She says she can bind you against doing harm upon others and to yourself, and then like she can make you marry whoever she wants. No, no, she can't. See, I don't. I don't know. See, she was into all this before we got married. And she's explained it to me slowly as as time has went on. That's not how it works. Okay. How does it work? Because she 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 told me she says she's entitled to seventy five percent of everything that I have if I leave her without her permission. You're gonna want to call a lawyer about that, not me. She says lawyers are. are are devil worshippers, and I, I don't want to. I don't want to cross Satan. Dude, you are in a very bad relationship with this lady. Um, but I, I don't, again, I, I, I don't understand how. See, because I was raised my 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 parents were Catholic, my grandparents were Christian, so I very religious people. And then, so I tried to get outside of that, and then she, like. Like I said, she was my first relationship out of uh, into college and out of high school, and she exp- she was telling me she was like, "You've been really coddled, and there's a whole lot of things you don't know about the world." And she explained it to me, and then um, about 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 I think it was about our sixth day of knowing each other, she explained that we were now married, and that there was contractual contractual obligations that I had to fulfill. And she says, if you if you ever leave um, on your own, you know, outside of passing away, of course, um, or anything like that, then then I then like everything goes to her, seventy five percent. Again, you're going to want to talk to a lawyer about that. But again, but I've told you that she sa- she says that lawyers are are blasphemous. Uh, d- 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 Devilite, diva, diva lights, devils. Like they're basically, not. basically worshippers, swar- worshippers, and and subservience of Satan. They're not. But wh- they're what? Just is, what they they're just doing a job. They're just doing a job they went to college for. And, <laughs> oh, don't even co- college. She made me leave college. I was actually going to be, I wanted to be a pediatrician. I was doing my prerequisites in school in the first year. And then well, that's when we met. Like I said, six, six days in, we were at that college. We were at, um, uh, what was that? What was it? Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. And then they, um, I was at the rush party. And then uh, I met her. She was, uh, she was with the Mo- with the Moose and then married. That's not how that works either. I mean, depending on how long you've been with her, you probably now have a common law marriage, but that's a whole different thing. I don't know what common law is, but she just told me. She just basically, she grabbed my hand and she told me she was pregnant and she said, we're married now. I mean, if you agree, I guess common law marriage is a thing, and that depends on how long you've been with her. Well, we've been but, we've been get, we've been together for eight years now, and we're, I'm still waiting for the baby to come out. That, that's you do realize a pregnancy is nine months, right? Yeah, nine months from when she says that it's coming out. No. No. Um. We could well. I know. I know the average. The average pregnancy. Yes, human. Human. Human females. She is months. human. But she, she, 
No, she she says she says she said no. That's not what that's not what she says. Okay. Um, are, are we? Are you still looking into getting a room here? Because. Um, yeah, but but she says she says that you have to you have to promise not to. What what the hell does this say? I'm, she, she's the only person I still know that writes in cursive. You know, I mean, I'm trying to decipher this. She says that you can't use your your snake hairs to turn me into stone, and you have to agree to this uh, by contract. Um. Huh. I don't have snake and hair. She says so all. We're good. I well, then then that shouldn't be a problem. But she also says, in case of a of a tornado, where to pick up the hotel that you promised not to land it on her and steal her shoes. Uh, okay. Okay. I doubt you'll have a tornado out here. I mean, that's not that. Like I said, this is her. This is her drawings. She's she's make, she's making promises, and I made I made promises. I told her when she she took my hand and then she received my seed through her hand that I would I would never betray her without her permission. Well, you should be good. You should be good. All right. All right. Do, now, do I have to sign any type of agreements with the hotel when I get there? Um. All we'll have you do is sign a. Uh, basically a form saying you're in the hotel and that you agree to our terms of service, which is no smoking or in the rooms. You can't have dogs in the rooms unless you tell us beforehand and no damages mm -hmm. to the rooms. Okay. And what what about, uh, what about um, religious uh, ceremonies? Uh, you'd have to... It depends on how big it is, and then you'd have to talk to the front desk about that. What she, you know, when she travels with a uh, Ouija board, and she does uh, the candles, open flames. That's the thing I was supposed to ask about. Open flames. Uh, no. Kind of goes hand in candles. hand with smoking. Well, there's no smoke. It's candles. There is smoke because it's fire. It'll set off the fire no. alarm. Oh, well, um, in, uh, no, incense would burn, um, cross that off, candles, no, uh, I don't, um, um, say, sage, we do no, have a $500 cash deposit upon arrival, though. Uh, what is that for? Uh, the deposit, uh, cash deposit, it's basically for, um, you know, just to make sure that you guys don't damage the room or anything. You do have oh, to like do that up front, though. Like, a, like, like, like a guarantee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd give us $500 okay. at the front desk. We'd put it in our safe for that. Okay, so, no, so, um, don't damage. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm jotting down notes. Don't damage. So you no might want to put down that it, you might want to put down that five hundred dollar cash deposit. Doesn't matter. Five hundred dollars yeah. cash deposit. No uh no sigils on the floor. Uh, uh let's see. Yeah, and I don't cause um when she uses the Ouija board, cause she used it with the out sometimes um uh, uh, um, dark dark objects move, and then they don't go with us. Uh huh. And she well, puts again, a lot of you'd... salt. She puts a lot of salt, like um, like rock salt, not coarse like cooking salt, but like rock salt on the windows, um, door doorways, um. There's a circle. Huh. And um, she, 
she calls sometimes she calls these two brothers um Sa- Sa- Samuel and Dean I see and, no, they, and they, they 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 come over in a in Impala, it's a black impala Um, do you have any other questions for me? Because I do have to go and do some stuff. Um, yeah, um, uh, I mean, do you want me to hang on to to your shit or something? I'll hang on. No, I, I can't hang up the phone until the call has ended. Okay, well, I'll stay here then. I can't hang up until we've got this all done. So what what other questions do you have? Oh, okay. Um, The moving of the furniture in the room. I would suggest against that. Well, if I had to... Well, I'm not saying I'm going to move it. Um, Again, we're back to the Ouija board situation. Again, I would suggest against using a Ouija board in the first place if... Beds are being moved and stuff because. Well, well, yeah, because. I, I, I'm with the big. I'm talking to the big girl. We're gonna check oh, in with bitch. next month. You got, you got the big I, bitch on the phone. Yeah, she's got big labia. Oh. Hello, hello there. Hi, uh, how are you doing? You hung up on me earlier. It's Big Amy. Yeah. Hi, no, Big Amy. How are you that doing? That is not my name, and I am not that big. But you're short she's stack. Un, she's, un, she's under five foot four. Yeah, she's a short stack of pancakes. I just want to drizzle my, you know. I'm, I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, you've talked to my husband for the past, like, 20 minutes. What's that she, about? She said, Any questions? Yeah. And what? Yeah, she said you we, to him? we can't be married. She said we can't be married just because you say so. Well, we're married. That's how it goes. So I gotta marry her now. Yeah, like you gotta marry Big Amy. Over I there. am hanging up now. Okay, good night, honey. But this call isn't over. What do you call it? 
Good afternoon. You're speaking with Henry Morgan. Do you remember signing up with the publisher's clearance house many years ago? If you... Did you remember signing up with the publisher's clearing house many years ago, ma'am? Start a dog. Pardon? Pardon? You stole a dog. Okay, you remember signing up, right? Um. Are you there? How do you know all this information if you didn't take the dog? Pardon? Maybe we'll get her back. Yes, I've seen here where you were signed up about seven to ten years ago, okay? And there's something that you should be receiving for yourself from our company. Did you receive a brown letter in your mail about two weeks ago stating that you have won something from the publisher's clearing house for yourself, ma'am? Because you have her in a storage unit. What did you say? Uh, you're right, it doesn't, but you stole a dog. Uh, I'm not hearing you properly, okay? Could you repeat? That's like stealing somebody's child. Do you remember standing up or not? You're fucking really smart. Ma'am, are you familiar with the publisher's clearance house? Okay, well, why don't you re just return the dog to the proper owners? What dog? Quit calling me! Listen, okay? I ain't fucking calling you, stupid!